Welcome, everyone. It is time once again for our seasonal anime preview, this time for winter 2023. We've gone and watched a whole bunch of episodes, 25 new anime this new season, and we're going to give you our impressions of all 25, at least the first episodes. As usual, there is uh, we're only watching the first episode so far, uh, so those are the only things we have to talk about. Uh, we are not watching any sequels, seasons two, season three, seasons four, no ongoing series, and no anime aimed at clearly like preschool children. Mm -hmm. uh, just because if you want that stuff, go for it. Um, not much for us to say about it. So that is the plan. I am Brent. This is Steve. Hello. This is John. Konbanwa, Mina. And let's just go right into it, shall we? Uh, and we we're going to start with... Uh, the angel next door spoils me rotten. Uh, the perfect a... lane entry. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, definitely a very highly anticipated anime. Uh, this time around, it is just a little romance story about two high schoolers uh, who meet up and um, the, the guy offers the girl an umbrella and they have a quiet little moment there in the rain. Uh, and then they end up starting to uh, get together and kind of help each other. Um, uh, let's see if we can get a good shot here. But yeah, they're just kind of doing the thing, getting together. Uh, she helps him in his apartment, uh, sort of cleaning up. And it's just sort of a budding romance between two adolescents. Two lonely uh, souls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so nothing too shocking here, but uh, yeah. definitely a nicely put together. I think fairly... I think what I liked about this is that it, ha it has some comedy, it has other stuff, but it's clearly just, here is a romance. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It it was, um, for me, once, you know, and by the way, I, I have regained sight in my left eye after watching all these uh, in, in a row. It's no longer um, twitching. Yeah, it's, it's no longer, like, wandering. Um no, this uh, this was actually kind of just it, it was just very relaxed. Um, <clears throat> this isn't one of those things where it's you don't have that much of a oh his face fell into her chest and mm -hmm. you know, yeah inappropriately yeah. by accident grabbed her and he she smacked him and that's when they fell in love. No, this is um, this guy is is kind of not a jerk, but he's kind of doing his own thing and he kind of doesn't mm -hmm. really care about what's going on in the world it's not he's a shut-in or anything like that he's just like he just doesn't care yeah mm -hmm. and for some reason that in the moment of he's seeing this girl he's just like oh i should i know her from class and she's a nice person i should probably be nice too maybe yeah. and you know do that and then it's reciprocated by her giving him a meal and then it just snowballs mm -hmm. and it's just this you know wonderful little little just rom-com there's there's nothing there's no as of yet no big love triangle or you know right. whatever there's no magical thing going on here she's literally just like entering his apartment going oh my god you live in filth <laughs> and you know just you know helping him you know reorder his life and mm -hmm. they just kind of start getting together and just yeah you know, it's just kind of like oh i kind of like you i kind of like you you're a bit of a jerk well you're kind of stuck up oh isn't that nice let's make mm -hmm. out you know no <laughs> <laughs> As I say, so far it's just nice and calm. They're yeah. just sort of like learning about each other a little bit, and you know he he feels like he's just a step away from being just a complete shut in, mm -hmm. but he isn't. He's got at, yep. at least enough social engagement that he has friends, mm -hmm. and that you know there's the cloud of people that are around both of them. Um, she has her own set of friends. The boys in the class have a particular opinion of her. So that mm -hmm. might lead to some drama as it typically tends yep. to do in rom-com kind of things. Like, what are you doing with the angel of our class? <laughs> um, but so far it is literally just two people mm -hmm. sort of figuring out if they have any sort of commonalities. Mm -hmm. You know, do yeah. they like the way the other person is or not? Mm -hmm. Whether they kiss or not in the end, let's be surprised. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, it's it's surprisingly sweet. Yeah. Not surprisingly, but but you know, one of those sweet Rather shows. Wholesome. It's wholesome. Wholesome. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of um, love triangles, uh, let's talk about Ayakashi Triangle. Um, 
which is an anime about well boy what is it about um it's about everything ninja uh, the og blah, it's, blah, blah. It's, it's, things. It's, it's got ninja it's got cats it's got a cute girl who likes cats um <clears throat> where she's in love with ninja boy um and hilarity ensues wackiness ensues yeah. uh, they are both sensitive to spirits um and uh sort of yokai spirits yeah and that has led to complications in their relationship uh, as he goes to train in the ninja arts, the, the, the ninja, you know, Shinigami oh. arts. Yeah. All yokai must die. Exactly. Um, and so, yes, um, drama ensues as he tries to take care of things. Uh, and then, unfortunately, wackiness ensues because he gets turned into a girl. Because that happened. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, because that happens. Right. He basically gets cursed. And so the it's obviously going to be sort of a rom com twist element thing with uh with you know, I love him, but he's a girl. How could I possibly love him now? Oh, all that I'm stuff. so conflicted. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm sure they're gonna throw in there like the oh, can they kiss, can they not kiss? Because mm -hmm. he is a boy, but I you know uh, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, that and the the main big baddie of this particular episode mm -hmm. is a fat, fluffy cat. Yeah, yeah, that guy mm -hmm. right there. And apparently, he turns into this monstrosity that eats people. Like he mm -hmm. he wants to eat the girlfriend, basically. Yep. And and <clears throat> Ninja Boy stops him, and he goes, "Okay, fine." Oh yeah, and that wasn't um, Master Roshi back. Then. No, certainly not. So, no, 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 not so, at all. Yeah, no. yeah. <clears throat> so. You know, and uh, yeah. so it, it's just one of those things where it's just like, how can we tell a story so that we can use the trope of turning boy into girl and having like a quasi Yuri thing? I just realized what this is. This is Naruto fanfic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. You know, alternate universe, my own characters, but we're going to have sort of this whole weird thing with ninja and then it's turned into a girl so I can have, you know, Yuri things along with my yeah. yeah yeah I have a sexy jutsu except for mm -hmm. this time I am a girl oh yeah, well, exactly. there we go <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I I don't think it's gonna do anything amazing um no. it's it's cute enough I mean, it's, yeah. it's a cute enough watch um mm -hmm. it's I'm certainly after this one episode I am not expecting anything like Pulitzer Prize winning yeah. like writing or any kind of yeah. like you know particularly amazing uh anime excellent award you know yeah. I, I feel like if anything anybody could probably watch the first episode take pen in hand and write out the rest of the series and be probably 80 percent spot on. yeah <laughs> pretty <laughs> much feels like it um just to point out i believe this is the anime by the creator of tula brew yes i think um, it was at that. okay yeah yeah so um makes sexiness a lot of sense. will abound yes <laughs> yeah. exactly and you know how etchy that show can be it looks like that's going to continue right on here so, but yeah, well, I, I think it'll be it'll, it'll be fun for that kind of thing. Yeah, with boy transformed into girl, there's going to be mm -hmm. pants. Well, actually, we know in that first yeah. episode, there's like, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm built different now. Ah ha mm -hmm. ha ha! Hilarity ensues. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Um, moving right along to Buddy Daddies, um, <laughs> which is about hello. There we go. Um, which, as we pointed out, uh, did happen to get greenlit like a couple of months after Spy Family anime premiered. Um, and it's basically two hitmen who, through various circumstances, have to uh, adopt a little girl, a uh, four-year-old, and, um, you know, do the thing. So they have their hitman things, um, and they have to kind of take care of the little girl in amongst all that stuff. And... First episode is very much setting up the premise of, of all that. Uh, I will yeah. say this does have the um, feel of a yes. more grown up anime, a more you know guns and violence anime. There are yeah, mm -hmm. there's blood here. Um, yeah, this, this <clears> people die. Violent. Yeah, people die. Yeah, um, which we and... saw Yor get violent in sure. some of the early parts yeah. of the of. Of, of spy family but mm -hmm. it certainly tones down very quickly once you establish mm -hmm. yours character this yeah. was like full nope. on the gas with killing people <laughs> like first yeah, episode. Yeah. like oh yeah. wow yeah it it's it, so 
the appeal when you watch this, um, even though it's kind of the same trope as as my mm-hmm. family, but you know, to your point, Brian, it it is very much more adult. You know, you're going to see the headshots and you know, kind yeah. of stuff happening. Yeah. Um, and the little girl is cute, and yada yada mm-hmm. yada. But this has at the very beginning, you have like the right music that's going yeah. on with this that reminds mm-hmm. you very mm-hmm. much of Cowboy Bebop. Lupin, you know, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. And kind of the movements of these two hitmen are also that's yeah. kind of the other thing is that it's mm-hmm. very, very Lupin, very, very mm-hmm. moving actioning, but it's not quite shown it. But mm-hmm. it's 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 I think it's kind of interesting, and I think people yeah. who like Spy Family will enjoy this, but maybe not conversely. But I'll I'll also say because this doesn't have any superpowers in it. Right. Um, those yes. who are turned off by these sort of more fantastical, over-the-top elements of Spy Family, where they're leaping off of Zeppelins and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. This yeah. is a bit more sort of a, a grounded Hollywood, almost John Wick yeah. style. Yeah. And thing. and the two buddies are also playing off the, um, oh gosh, what was the name of that 60s show? The Odd right. Couple. Thank you. <laughs> and it's because yep. one is very much a shut-in, like the the guy that, that we saw mm. with the, the ponytail on the right, on, on the right here. He's kind of a shut in, plays games, and he's just very monotone, you know, mm-hmm. and you know, and things like that. And yeah. a slob. Whereas the other one is kind of more responsible, has more of a backstory of, of a family, that kind of thing. But he, you know, he has no hesitation of just going, oh, oh please be quiet. You know, <laughs> just shoot somebody in the face. You know? Yep. So definitely uh, looks good. Looking, looking forward to something like yeah. along those lines. Uh, moving on to campfire cooking in another world with my absurd <laughs> skill. Um, now, uh, Steve and I did not get a chance to see this. I have been reading the manga. John, you have seen this. What were your thoughts? Yes. Um, I, I like the idea of somebody who gets isekai'd who isn't the primary character. Mm-hmm. They're just they're they're caught up in the thing and they go off and it's not some kind of I'm going to quest to become, you know, anything. It's I'm stuck here and I can't do the thing you're doing. So I'm just going to figure out where's my like place in this world. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. that's kind of cool. Yeah. And that's the nice development. I've watched now a couple more episodes of it. And mm-hmm. it's like he's not trying to be super crazy. No. Yes, there are things that develop as a result of his cooking and his mm-hmm. really odd skill of being able to access an Amazon like <laughs> online market <laughs> while he's in a fantasy world. That's a little weird, but it's, it's a very unique take mm-hmm. because it drives the character. It's not, it's not into another world with my smartphone where I can mm-hmm. do all the things and get all the stuff I need from the phone for free. Mm-hmm. It's like, you've got this mechanic of Amazon availability <clears throat> that you have to put money into. Right. Mm-hmm. So he can't just, you know, pull out every convenient item in the universe and mm-hmm. be like, okay, now I'll set up a modern shop here. It's like, no, he had, it drives him to have to go to do some adventuring, do things to earn mm-hmm. money mm-hmm. so that he can do stuff with this magical online shopping. <laughs> thing. So it's, it's a really cute take on it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not super wowed by the by the quality of the anime. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's very basic animation. It's not like super mm-hmm. crazy, but I'm I'm enjoying the the sort of selection of characters. I'm enjoying this novel kind of idea, mm-hmm. and the fact that he isn't introducing everybody to flashlights. Yeah, He's pulling out like a little gas stove that people are like their mind is blown. Like how are you <laughs> doing this? And then he pulls out a pot and he makes food. Mm-hmm. sounds mundane but it's like we've all seen what happens when you have this super crazy ability to pull wacky stuff out of out of your mm-hmm. pocket dimension and it's like no oh, this dude's like making o- okonomiyaki that's it mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's good fun um mm-hmm. he does develop interesting relationships um yeah, yeah. with some more powerful elements <laughs> yeah. as a result of nothing but really cooking. Mm-hmm. It's like, so th- that's another interesting thing as well. Cause it's not like, Oh, you know, my super insane power, like beast tamer from last, mm-hmm. you know, right. I'm a super great beast tamer. So I can tame all these things. It's like, mm-hmm. no, he just cooks and that draws people and events to him. Mm-hmm. That's nice. It's a, it's yeah. a nice ride. Well, so, well, you know, it's, it's something that I've learned in the past about cooking is that when you, 
cook well and you make good food, people tend to stop stabbing each other. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And you tend me, to develop relationships with people. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Let me <clears> ask <throat> this question, John. On a scale of one to ten, ten being high, how high is this on the scale of healing anime? How healing is it? Hmm. I hmm. <laughs> It's, I'm not going to say it's very high on that. I'm going to say okay. probably right right smack dab in the middle, maybe a five, six. Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe right in there because you do have some conflict mm-hmm. that occurs. So there's, you know, there's some action-y elements to things. Yeah. Um, it is very enjoyable to watch him prepare the food and to, like, mm-hmm. do the things he's doing. So that's, you know what I mean? So you got actually things that you got to pay attention to so it's not very mm-hmm. relaxing but then he's mm-hmm. cooking and doing things where it's like okay now that shifts the scale back again gotcha <laughs> so it's it's definitely an easy lunchtime mm-hmm. dinner time watch mm-hmm. it's not going to overtax you you're not mm-hmm. so far you know three episodes into the thing it's not yeah. like something where i'm like thirsting for the next episode <laughs> but i'm also not like oh it's one of those things i gotta clear off the list no mm-hmm. i i thoroughly enjoy it i keep going back to it when i've got eminence and shadow really winded my gears up <laughs> like, <so>. okay <laughs> cool glad to hear it all right let's move on to chilling in my 30s after getting fired from the demon king's army yeah. Um, getting yeah. The Billy Billy logo. Um, this was an interesting one in the sense that it felt very generic in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, while also being a, an adjustment on, on certain elements. And I would say generic, but also very aware it's generic. Yes. Maybe the way of putting it. Where this guy is, let's even get a shot here. Yeah. So. Um, he works with the Demon Lord. Uh, Demon Lord isn't happy with him, uh, his service, so he gets booted out of the Demon King's army. So he basically has to go from place to place. Ends up helping a um, uh, very cute girl with huge tracts of land. And <laughs> um, made him virtue true. <laughs> exactly, yes. Um, and so basically ends up in this small town. Helping after helping helping some after having helped someone there, and they kind of take him in, and you know he becomes part of that community. And so obviously, on the one hand, he has been allied of the Demon King, so he can't <laughs> let that out. So yeah. there's a secret behind the scenes, uh, but also it just feels like it is again. There's sort of a wholesomeness to this of him yeah. just trying to be a, a good person, really. Yeah. It, it you know it, I think that's a really good way to, to describe it as generic in that you know here you have this guy who's just like he's he's actually faithfully serving the demon lords mm-hmm. and you know like like he comes out my lord my liege and you know all this mm-hmm. stuff and they're just and they're just like looking at him, you know the one shot of this guy's just like going, eh, <laughs> eh, whatever you know you know whatever you know take off it was and, generous that they <clears throat> didn't kill him i mean yes yeah he's <laughs> honestly mm-hmm. but you know there's really as they point out and as you realize that in terms of the demon army he's nobody special and mm-hmm. he kind of realizes that and he kind of realizes i actually can't do some of the things that the demon mm-hmm. other demons can do and this is being pointed out to me and this is why i'm being getting fired literally can't <laughs> and you know, and he's kind of going through, and he's like, now that he's out of that life, and he's he's like trying to figure out what's going on. He, he forgets to eat, or whatever, yeah. as he's moving through, and so this woman, the the the, the mm-hmm. virtuous lady with the large tracts of land, um, you know, gets attacked by this this gorilla thing, and mm-hmm. he moves in to try to do the thing, to do mm-hmm. the right thing, and you know, he goes, well, I'm here, I got nothing else to do, and you know this should be the hero and he, yeah. he tries to be the hero and kind of succeeds. it works out oh, yeah, it works out. Kind of succeeds. yeah. and then he goes on as as he's trying to hide this past from him and he's like going you know i can't let him know i'm a demon i can't let him know i'm a demon then he finds out something <laughs> and then yeah um and then it moves on from that and mm-hmm. then you discover that well oh well he may not have been something as a demon but in the human world he's he's mm-hmm. actually something and yep. you know what? He doesn't really particularly want that. 
<laughs> and you know, he's he's kind of like the idea of being I can be a slouch. I can like mm -hmm. not have to do that. I I actually don't have to worry about walking off and getting killed in the service of my demon lord. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, and it's just easy going, I think, as in mm -hmm. terms of, yes. of of a story and, and, yeah, and yeah, how yeah. it moves and and and, this, and the pacing of it. It's just really easy and it's just, you know, it's something that I, I to me I I would be like probably watch one or two or three episodes, mm -hmm. watch something else that gets my attention, come back to this and be perfectly fine with it. You know, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's solid. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it certainly gave me, I, I watched a little bit more forward of it. It, it really, mm -hmm. it kind of gave me the sensation of like, if you have something like Naruto or bleach or something that mm -hmm. appeals to like a teenage guy's fantasy of like power and like mm -hmm. people coming around yeah. and organizing, this, I kid you not, feels like somebody was like, well, what would happen if a salaryman worked with like a fairly ah. big organization and they've like dedicated their lives to the company and they've, you know, they've worked all those those black overtime hours that he'd get paid for and they get fired. Mm -hmm. What would that, you know, what would that be like? So this kind of feels like it skews a little older. Yeah, so I that, see that. that yeah. That you know, because 30s is like wow, that that's a mm -hmm. weird audience to shoot for for like 14, 15 year old kids. Like, yeah. No, it kind of feels like this is the point of this. That's why this mm -hmm. is skewing this direction. Interesting. And it's like okay, and it's it's keeping that kind of tone where it's like I'm a <clears throat> more person, mm -hmm. I'm an adult, and now I'm trying to figure out what to do with my life after I've stopped doing that particular adulting thing mm -hmm. my career there right. is done now mm -hmm. i have to reorient and recareer it's like i know that damn <laughs> yeah i know there's a whole sort of subgenre of the manga that's aimed at can you salary men on their way home from the office to sort of consume um and i wonder if this is kind of aimed more at that audience it's more sane in the sense that it's yeah it's aimed for, for, at, at those kind of um power fantasy salaryman if you will yeah because i mean it, it's entirely you're you're choosing a new career it just mm -hmm. so happens that you've got special skills now that you felt mm -hmm. you didn't have right but you know it, isn't that what everybody's career change would be it's like yeah. i'm now capable of being better than i was in my other mm -hmm. career oh my goodness what, a, what you know so it's like yeah exactly. it really feels like it's kind of aiming that direction like oh, okay mm -hmm. cool I, I, gotcha. i've cool. not wa watched a show that's fantasy like this that is yeah. skewing towards an older audience in a particular mm -hmm. way so it's like okay right. cool. i don't get to see that very often so cool yeah that's cool absolutely um well to completely go in another direction <laughs> oh boy let's talk a minute about fire hunter oh 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oof. In a good way. Yeah. I would say unarguably the heaviest anime of the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, possibly Gee. because yeah. <laughs> look at just, that face. Yeah. Yeah. Uh conceived by none other than, than Mamoru Oshii. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the heavier anime directors out there um so yeah this is set in a sort of post-apocalyptic future where man can no longer use fire um if if humans get near fire they will spontaneously combust basically uh is the idea here and so that has uh driven humanity back to this sort of very primitive, almost hunter-gatherer kind of state uh, where there's, uh, at least out here in the villages, basically no technology. Um, paper is exorbitantly expensive, things along those lines. Um, but I think more importantly, this is the story of a young girl who, for whom something tragic happened and who she now feels she has to repay that and, and deal with that. Um, and the episode is basically just following her around the village as she prepares to go on that journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
literal journey. Yeah. Yeah. Literal. Like journey. I said, it, it felt very much like to your eternity where it's like, mm-hmm. there's just a gravity to the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so that requires the- attention. I, I, you know, <laughs> flat out, it is not going to be something where, like, I'll just flip this on and just, you know, nope. laugh and have yeah. a like, <laughs> no. No. no, 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 this is like, okay, I have some time. Yeah, I need to center myself and get ready to watch the show. <laughs> yeah, it's the kind of it's kind of uh, show where part of one sentence will explain the backstory of another character. Right. Yeah. There's there's a lot of meat here. Um, there's yeah. y- you know there, there's a lot, and the world building in just the first episode is is pretty substantial. Uh, mm-hmm. When you learn that there are places, cities that there are actual cities that yeah. are industrialized, mm-hmm. but the technology of that industry is hampered by the fact that they can't use fire, so they have to use other things, and so you have an ecological component to this where people are getting sick and die early Mm -hmm. then you have these people who live out in the rural areas where this girl is from and these are people who if fire happens in this village Mm -hmm. everyone's dead i mean you know that's that's the thing so they have to Mm -hmm. make a way to create heat to do the things that they need that they actually need to do Mm -hmm. and so there's this thing called a collection where they come by mm-hmm. and as of the first episode we're not exactly 100 percent sure exactly how this is processed we know that there are people yeah. who are who are hunters of fire who go out mm-hmm. looking for this stuff which mm-hmm. I, i'm assuming comes from these beasts yeah. and excuse me and so you know they come by once every few months and there's and, and they stay around for like three or four days and they do a whole mm-hmm. trade so this is like a whole ecosystem of, you know, mm-hmm. of economics and and how people survive and how you survive in the city and how it, how it transfers out here and in all of this is this little girl who happened to at the very beginning of the episode deals with this very traumatic thing mm-hmm. takes ownership of that dog right there which we're not going we don't want to spoil it but she has to go on this journey to go back to a city where you know people are trained to hunt fire Mm -hmm. and she is her journey is to you know deal with this these things Mm -hmm. that she has to do and by the way the the village isn't too nice to her yeah you know uh, for for this and because and also she is herself considered a burden by some Mm -hmm. members of the village Mm -hmm. so they actually see this as an opportunity to Mm-hmm. And when they talk about the journey, the, the actual literal journey, mm-hmm. there's a there's a guy on these big machines, it's very steampunk kind of thing going on yeah. here, which no fire again, so it's 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 you know it's done in a different way, a very careful mm-hmm. way, but they explain to her, look, um, we have to go to these other villages first, and on mm-hmm. the way back we're going to be going to all these villages. By the time we get there. It's probably going to be a year. Then you're going to have mm-hmm. to do your thing. So however long that takes. And then when you come back mm-hmm. out this way, mm-hmm. it's going to be another year. So they're telling this little girl, 10-year-old girl, yeah, you're going to be away for a while. Like mm-hmm. two years, which is like two a years. significant portion of a young child's life. <laughs> right. <laughs> and there's so many things that I want to say. But, <laughs> you know, we can't because this is, this is to me, w- one of the two big winners of, mm. of this season. Yeah, it's definitely well worth the watch. Yeah, definitely. And so, and so we don't want to spoil anything. And yeah, we were as we were watching this, we were we were all three of us were were going, God, this this is, is our, I, you know, I think I said, man, I can't tell yeah. if this is Satoshi or if it's Oshi. And we, <laughs> we started talking about it, and then you know, Brent looks it up and he goes, Oh my God, it's Oshi. And we're like, mm-hmm. oh. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yep. But yes, this is. <clears throat> but as you say, John. When you're gonna watch this, sit down, get everything, the pillows and everything just yeah. right. Yeah. You're you know, if if you're if you get verklempt, you make sure your your tissues are right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it's 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 not easy. But yeah, it's you know, not okay. overly burdensome, but it is mm-hmm. definitely heavy. You should be yeah. in a good head head space to like appreciate yeah. what is going on in the storyline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So if you're into that kind of stuff, like we are. Um <clears throat> Just, you know, be ready. Yes. 
Um, moving on to the giant beasts of ours, which any Rift Tracks fans will start snickering. <coughs> um, Arr. Arr. Um, so this was one that, um, again, starts off very kind of standard fantasy anime. There's a giant monster that some that's attacking and, and soldiers are attacking it. And then guy attacks it and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But then as we watched it, we got more and more intrigued. Um, as this girl escapes from a castle, um, doing some awesome anime uh, jumping. <laughs> anime, anime loves its jumping, um, and uh, there's some really fun stuff there. Uh, and then we get a uh, uh, a totally not evil um, guy in Psychotic. the organization. Yeah, can we get a? There we go. Yeah, he's fine. He's he's great. <laughs> Those uh, eye drops have been doing wonders yes, for him. Exactly. <laughs> nice and bright, um, bushy tailed. Uh, and then we actually don't get too much of him because I'm having a hard time finding shots of it. Um, but we have our kind of, because yeah, we get a lot with the, the girl and the little cat girl as well. Um, and then at the end, we get, yeah, I don't want to spoil that. Um, um, so we get our, our main character. There he is. Main character who's sort of a, dropout knight kind of a, a guy so yeah. he's a uh, he's a paladin from what we can we can piece together paladins are connected to some girl slash weapon the power the source thingy thing, power yeah. source yeah exactly so if you've ever seen an anime where you know you need your your cute anime girl who then turns into a sword or whatever it's the same kind yeah. of idea um and he had he was that once and then things happened and so now he's more of a drunk guy at a tavern. But then, of course, girl shows up, and sure enough. Um, and then, of course, someone tries to touch her. Oops. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we all <laughs> yeah, which was a Whoa. real moment for the three of us. <laughs> where it's like, okay. Just we all just went. <laughs> yeah. And it was like two seconds before that, it's like, oh, well, this is just very, you know, standard. It's nothing, nothing mm -hmm. bad is happening. And, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, exactly. well, that yeah. changed tune pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, yeah. Bad things happen. Um, I'll, just, yeah. I'll just put it that way. Um, so, yeah, yeah. This is our reaction, pretty much. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, oh, crap. Uh, so, yeah, definitely feels like the show is willing to go places. Yeah. Yeah. It's <clears throat> kind of interesting and in how they kind of mix this fantasy world with yeah. little bits of technology mm -hmm. in it. And uh, like, cause you see them holding guns, actual guns. Mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And is this the one it, it remind me, is this the one with the weird spaceship? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. In the, in the so intro in the, to it, it shows that spaceship. Yeah. So I it, just accept that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Firefly. <laughs> Yeah, he has his own little personal bebop, which is also yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those things, and we both say, I can't believe this isn't a video game. Like this right. just really yes. feels like some. Yeah, some I was video shocked it wasn't. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because yeah. like I said what I said when we were watching it, it's like it felt a lot like Grand Blue Fantasy, which Grand mm -hmm. Blue Fantasy, I believe, is a video game franchise. Yep, very much. And it's like same kind of premise, mm -hmm. guy, girl who is a mystery, but somehow they mm -hmm working together they end up doing more than could individually and then a you know hardy band of crazy adventurers <laughs> like isn't this the same show yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably big fans of grand blue whoever made yeah. this yeah yeah want to make their own version and um, and this is and this one it just for me it just seemed to be like again here we go. Here's an interesting premise for you, and we're going to shock you on a couple of things. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can pick your jaw up off the floor. We have to continue with the episode. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, here's here's the rest yeah. of it. And it's entertaining. Yeah. Also, I, I do appreciate the sort of the pacing and the structure of the episode yeah. where there's no narrator explaining to you the back history of the three nations and the war yeah. that happened right. 20 years yeah. ago, whatever. Um, it's just, here's some characters Things are happening. You have to kind of piece it together from context. And I really appreciate that. Watch more and you'll learn more. Hey. Mm -hmm. hey, hey there we go. Treating yeah. your audience with a little respect is awfully nice. Um, then another show that kind of surprises a little bit in different ways, Handyman Saito in Another World. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, so, I mean, <laughs> basically, let's just say it. Um, handyman is a guy's yeah. into, into an advanced engine and dragons world. Yep. That's it. That's what this. <laughs> That's what this is. But again, it's it's surprisingly entertaining. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and because you know he's he's doing oh, the thing. There. Yeah. <laughs> he's and and there's so yeah, the much, there's so much of this. Oh my god, this this is the whole wizard thing is just hilarious. When, yeah. when he, they're just like, why are you with the? Okay, let's stop. <laughs> you know, he. And you know, of course, you, there's some backstory. Like the knight has a backstory, mm -hmm. and you know, yeah. the, the wizard fairy is, with the gold, the gold pouch, pouch has a backstory. Mm -hmm. And they're and nice. they're all kind of like, except for the, the knight a little bit, but they're all just kind of like funny. And and this yeah. is not this is you know as when we watched this first episode, there was no sense of they are out to save the world. And oh no, doom and rah rah rah, yeah. shonen shonen shonen. You know, no, it's 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 very much you know just very tongue in cheek. I mean, the the fact that this guy handyman just shows up, they're like, oh, you're a locksmith, and like, no, actually, I'm a handyman. That's just it. Mm -hmm. I got my tool picks. You know, it does the thing. Yeah. But um, but but oh. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons is not a a the brand is not a a, a far off of of uh, of a description of this because one of the creatures in there I think John you knew it the right mimic. away the mimic and we're just mm -hmm. like oh, oh yeah. yeah from AD and D yeah oh yeah, yeah absolutely so it is that's, very much a &D. that's why I mentioned it yeah yeah definitely yeah I mean it 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 is nice for um a different take on an isekai character mm -hmm. because he doesn't even attempt to be blended in. No. He is literally <laughs> wearing the coveralls he showed yeah. up. In. Yeah. Everybody else is armored up in robes and they're all AD&D mm -hmm. and looking great and he's just like, "Yep, got my work coveralls on." This <laughs> <laughs> is like, "Okay, I have I have respect for that. I have respect yeah. for the fact that you've gone with that with the character that he's just absolutely doing the stuff that he's good at." Mm -hmm. And he's not being like super crazy about it. He's not, you know, mm -hmm displaying some you know let me do this magic circle that'll help me out yeah. no <laughs> he just has like a bunch of standard tools now mm -hmm. whether that turns out that he is a magical bag of holding where he has all the tools he'll ever need don't mm -hmm. know but you know we'll find out because yeah. i'm gonna watch more of this because like, exactly it's, it's good fun mm -hmm. yeah this feels like a like a bunch of, of people who play D D. She said, it, wouldn't it be funny if somebody made an anime series of these scenarios? Right? Yeah. It's all very much like tabletop gaming or, or fantasy gaming jokes Yeah, in anime, as opposed to an a anime jokes with D&D &D characters. Right. So, if Record of Lotus War was actually just very light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, not very light, in contrast, was High Card. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, another, and I will say we got quite a few anime this series, this season that are aimed at that older audience. Yeah. It yeah. definitely feels like it's aimed at that older teen audience. Yeah. Um, um, let's just say things happen at the beginning of this episode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but basic premise is you have this, um, young man, I think put a shot of him. Um, there we go. Who is sort of a thief-ish kind of kind of a guy, a pickpocket, I guess is the right word. A rogue. Rogue. <laughs> um, who then gets in over his head in a casino and you know, some very sort of I don't I don't know quite what I'd call it. Um Bacano style things start happening. Yeah. Yeah. Um and yeah. If any of you saw casino in that scene where De Niro says, "Which hand do you do you sh uh, do you uh, um, shuffle cards with?" And the guy says, mm. "My right." And he pulls out the hammer, starts. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> that scene starts to ha ramp up. Mm -hmm. There, there, there yeah. is that kind of scenes. Those kind of guys are just like, well, yeah. "Yeah, you you were just winning a little too much." And uh, yeah. uh -huh. yeah. you know, this isn't the champagne room, actually. So mm -hmm. yeah, here you go. <clears throat> and the um, whole premise is based on these playing cards that have. Mm -hmm imbued powers in yeah. yeah exactly we don't learn um, the the details of the cards to start with but that 
it's going to be an adventure to find cards. Yes, it's yeah. very clear that the cards are important. Yes. Yes. Some way. Um, and that there's, it, it's a whole way of creating a, you know, a legion of, of characters to interact with, to have various powers. Yes. Um, as, as you might imagine. Um, 50, I, 52 characters. <laughs> yes. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, definitely kind of not quite over the top action, but heightened action. Yes. Um, you know, very ridiculous sort of uh, actually John Wick, I think would be a, a pretty good yeah. sort of uh, yeah. uh, approach on this. Uh, but it was certainly some fantastical powers uh, worked yeah. in. So you're not, you know, teleporting in a a giant monster or anything, but right. Yeah, still. Um, but yeah, if, if you're looking for something a little bit more, um, again, a little more Hollywood movie esque. I think this would be kind of right down your alley. Yeah. And if you like the dueling uh, mm -hmm. character thing where they, yeah. they break out their cards and their power mm -hmm. or whatever, that, yeah. that sure, that, that yeah. would be great. Basically, Yu Gi Oh for adults. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Grown up Yu Gi Oh. There we are. Um, very much not grown up Yu Gi Oh was the ice guy and his cool female <laughs> colleague. Um, our sort of, um, I'm just going to call it our cute romance of the, uh, of the season. The um, adult version. The, the adult. Yeah. Yes, the, the, yes. The workplace romance. Perhaps. Yes. Yes. The workplace romance. Um, so the, 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 the guy here is a, I guess a Yuki Otoko. It's supposed to be yep. a Yuki Ona. So we have the, the ice snow guy. woman. Yeah. The ice woman. He's the ice guy. So he generates uh, snow and ice whenever he is upset, uh, which, of course, as you can imagine, um, often causes him problems um, as it freezes him in place uh, in various places. Um, so that, that's kind of an issue. Uh, and uh, then a coworker comes across. Actually, she's not a coworker at the beginning. They're just on their way to it, their first job. Yeah. They're just and random. Then, it's absolutely just random. random. Just random. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. Uh, and they show me that foreshadowing. Job. Never. No, not at all. Um, as they as they talk under the cherry blossoms. No, no. Uh, and they get there, and of course, yes, they are they are seated right next to each other. So yeah, he's he's chilly. What's neat about this is that you'd expect her to be a fiery hot, you know, character. But no, she is very reserved. She's very quiet, and that's always been something she's been kind of self. Uh, uh, um, concerned about about herself and so seeing him be nice to her kind of thaws her out in yeah in yeah. a way well and, i think we had observed when during the show where it's like mm -hmm. she has more of the yukiona kind of personality yeah. where she's sort of a flat effect and he mm -hmm. actually is much more expressive and much more emotional mm -hmm. Which uh, naturally leads to everything freezing, but that's not important. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it, the interesting concept of, of the world here mm -hmm. is that yokai and human beings are together. Mm -hmm. you, have yeah. a, you have a kitsune right there, mm -hmm. and you know that's as and they all become friends. And mm -hmm. it, we don't see a couples pairing here, not at all. No, um, no, no, not no at all. they're not oriented. That I mean, way, at least. No, yeah. no, no, no. But he, you know where it's going to go. But it's just yeah. kind of interesting that this is just mm -hmm. accepted that this is part of life. And, that, you know, it's not yeah. like and, and what's nice is that there's no as far as we know thus far is that there's no like, well, I must. I am actually the prince of the <laughs> ice yokai and I must mm -hmm. attain the level of blah, 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 blah. No. no, it's none of this. It's just literally just like what if yokai were in the world? I never and, Buddha. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and Buddha, and Buddha, and yeah. as as a as a as a section manager, which I find <laughs> hilarious. It's so peaceful in that office. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> There's no conflict in section in that section. Mm -hmm. Very oh. nice. Um, yeah, we, we were observing if you liked interviews with Monster Girls. Um, yeah, yeah, that's but, right. yeah, but, yeah, but you, you didn't want uh, a high school. Teacher, you know the idea of a high school teacher getting together with a high school girl, uh, which yeah. doesn't happen in this in the show. That's not how the show goes. But yes, a, a more adult romance, 
an actual romance in the show. That's kind of where this goes. Yes, learning yeah. about your your interest and learning about their particular yokai elements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly. very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Especially little snowmen that pop off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting iconography in that one. The little snowmen appear in this. Little... Which I think at the time I made the comment, it's like, where does he get all the little tiny scarves? No. <laughs> like, the little sticks and the little carrots. Yeah, the little tiny yeah. carrot, little little coal eyes. How the hell is he doing this? <laughs> It's um, magic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Moving on to the Ice Blade Sorcerer shall rule the world. Um, it's um, it's um, it's Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's anime Harry Potter. Very much. Yeah. Sorcerer reincarnates because things happen, um, and then ends up in. Uh, in basically Hogwarts. I mean, that's that's kind of yeah. kind of the thing. People treat yeah. him like crap. Some people don't treat him like crap. Mm -hmm. Things happen. Love interests. He's he's, mm -hmm. he's he's got a mystery behind him. Yes, exactly. But he keeps meeting cute girls. Weirdly enough, and he's just so really very nice. urbane and yes. so suave with them, almost exactly. as if beyond his years. Oh, almost wow. as if. Oh, almost that as might if. lead into the mystery. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Hmm. Yes. think so, perhaps. Crazy. Um, but I mean, that does well, really look like mean, a, a Hogwarts uniform, doesn't it? Yes. It sure does. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I mean, just straight up. Um, and here's the thing there's nothing wrong with that, right? Right. Like, yeah. right. Harry Potter comes off, of course, comes out, of course, it's going to spawn with the hitters. Um, and I think this is definitely a show that could go in, in fun directions. It's the kind of thing where it's like, okay, let's take that premise and see where we go with it in our own show. Um, it is very much more, as we can see, more of a harem anime yeah. approach mm -hmm. to the uh, Harry Potter thing. But it's, uh, you know, I think it's overall what we saw in this episode was a kind of a classic modern anime approach to that sort of a story. Yes. Where mysterious right. protagonists cute girls, uh, rivals, that kind of stuff. So could be a fun watch. Yeah. Yeah. I've watched forward a little bit of it now mm -hmm. and it's it. Everything we see in this first episode is everything you get going forward. Like nothing. <laughs> there is not like a shocking twist <laughs> as it right. moves forward. It's like, no, it's entirely exactly what it is. And if you're, if you totally dig that, not I'm mm -hmm. all on board with it. I have no problems yeah. with it. It mm -hmm. is fun. It's yeah. Fun. yeah. Again, mm -hmm. not going to make me change my mind there, there, about there how nothing these things work, but yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There, there's nothing offensive about this video in the yeah. least, and there's exactly. nothing to, to complain about, honestly. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's just totally, yeah. You know. Probably um, not going to sell it to everybody I meet. Oh my gosh, Ice Blade Sorcerer! You gotta watch it. <laughs> like, probably not. Yeah, yeah. It's really Fire good. Leader? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not so much. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. A show that I have started recommending to everybody, um, which I did not expect, was Ipon again, yes. aka Mo mm. Ipon. Um, this is quite simply um, girls playing judo. Yeah, you think? But but it's not exactly a sports anime. It is not. Um, so this Escort. is. But it's about it, relationships. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's a relationship anime. It's about the you know the relationships between these girls, the the friendships they have, all that kind of stuff, with judo as the backdrop. Yeah, and it's the driving force behind their relationships and what they do with each other. And that's one of the things I just really appreciate about the show is that yes, the judo is there, the judo is kind of front and center, but this is not. Will they go to nationals? Yes. Right. Um, and it's just, you know, judo. And yeah. well, no, but no, it, it's it's how judo pushes these relationships forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another one I've watched a little bit more of it. And it's just, it's really, they've done so well at how how judo is certainly important, certainly very interesting. It gets them to mm -hmm. the middle school competition, blah, 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 blah. But 
it's this unifying factor at a time where they're transitioning in their own lives. Yeah. And how, how central is judo versus how central are the relationships that they've built through judo Mm -hmm. and what drives them to continue with that pursuit because it nurtures and supports the relationships. And so it's just like, wow. Okay. It's not blue lock. (laughs) <laughs> no, no, no. Thank God, no. Um, yeah, no, it's, I, it's, it's really I. I love the the way that they have crafted this as it goes forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the girl who's doing the 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 yeah. hand the whatever move, um, mm-hmm. she is a kendo person. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's 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 nice to have her interaction because of the way that it drives forward the idea of like, well. If you don't really, if you're not really committed to judo, why don't you not do do, do judo? Mm-hmm. And then that brings up that conversation of why am I doing judo? Mm-hmm. What what makes that central to to my interest? Mm-hmm. Why what why don't I just change do something else? I, this is a whole new opportunity for me. I could just stop yeah. it. And it's like, yeah. thank you. I like to like to watch that develop. Mm-hmm. That's- so when when the show came on, I was just like, because we all know how I feel about sports anime. You love them. <laughs> You know, but it came on and then you, very quickly, very quickly, you you <clears throat> get the the thing that happens and the two girls that you see there front and center mm-hmm. um, in the previous shot there um, <clears throat> are in that and it propels them. And the one of them says, I'm not going to do this anymore after this match. So mm-hmm. we don't want to try to go for the airpot. doesn't work out, whatever. And, you know, it goes on from there. And then, so the girl with the, with the kendo, you know, is, is again trying to recruit them and saying, "Hey, you know, you have all these alternatives." And this girl right here is just basically saying, "No, actually, you know what? This is what I want to do. I, I want to go. I want to go to school. I want to go to. I want to get a boyfriend. I want to do these kinds of things." Mm-hmm. And you know, the the other girls or you know, the, her friend is like, "Please don't do that because this is what keeps us together." Mm-hmm. And then you see, you know, other people coming in, and you realize that. This is not a sports anime because what it is is that the judo is going, oh, hey, you have this thing coming. Why don't you come over here and take a look at this? Here, you have something coming. You have something. And the girl who mm-hmm. you, with the pigtail is from another school, and she's watching the two besties having this conversation. Mm-hmm. And she, this, this is what, like, I'm a little over complaining. She's like, I want to be part of that conversation. Yeah. It wasn't about, it wasn't about, I want to be on their judo team and, and then let's go to the nationals. Mm-hmm. It was just like you can in that face right there, you can see that she's just like, I'm really good at this, and I wanted to talk to this girl because they look like they're having fun mm-hmm. and they're enjoying each other, and I'm lonely. And I'm like, yeah. but I realized that I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not crying. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's hot here. My I mean, eyes are sweating. I don't I know, know what's going right? on here. <laughs> But the, but to the point is that this show is just using judo to get mm-hmm. these relationships in line. It's just yeah. and it's just very nice and it's just you know very just very just like it. It's going at a pace where you're just like, oh yeah, let's just sit back and just mm-hmm. yeah. This it. feels like healing. Yeah, yeah, it is healing. Okay, yeah, yeah. you know it yeah. feels like healing because it's there isn't anything that's like sharp drama kind of stuff. It mm-hmm. is just that building up to your relationships and building depth in your relationship. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah. that's a nice feeling to see mm-hmm. that sort of coalescing. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's good. <clears throat> yeah. Not camping, um, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of though, um, man, does this show do a great job of atmosphere? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, as you see in this shot, uh, just a lot of attention paid to, backgrounds to environments to light um golden uh the golden hour uh in various places and just really using that in really effective ways and sometimes in very simple ways like um when they're here in the gym i love how you have this almost antiseptic light coming in um because it's a gym like it's a, a very kind of generic you know um environment to be in it's, it feels a little dingy it feels a little um overused <laughs> yeah um, and then they just they just really make you feel where you are which i just loved but yeah and their attention to character 
yeah like design yeah mm-hmm. some of them are a little like goofy kendo girl with the very straight bangs <laughs> like, mm-hmm. but it's done it's done with a it feels like a real eye to making that not the point if that mm-hmm. makes some sense yeah. where it's like they're not over stylized they're not like mm-hmm. cheaply done they're yeah. done in just such a way as to make them visually interesting yeah. and in their their style is indicative of their character mm-hmm. and it doesn't detract from anything yeah you know what i mean it's like that is a nice that's a deft hand yeah, Where it's exactly. nothing that's like jarring or overly glaring. It's like mm-hmm. I, I, I like the it, this. I, I suppose you would say it, it's it's soft. Yeah, it's a very soft mm-hmm. look. Very soft. So that it yeah, adds to the the environment that you're looking at. Like this mm-hmm. this cut right there is just such yeah. a. It almost feels like it's slightly blurred. Mm-hmm. You know where mm-hmm. it's it's a thing the that's happening but across it, the camera. Yeah, yeah, it feels nostalgic. But it's yeah. who's it, who's nostalgic? For? I was never a girl in <laughs> in high school, but it feels like nostalgia. Like oh, I remember a time of being young and having yeah. that group of friends, and it's like it just touches a lot of things. Where it's like it's okay, yeah, I'm 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 on board, sure, yeah. yeah, 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 same here. Um, yeah, the the style matches the tone. Yes, yes, yes very much, perfectly. Um, moving on to another of the rom-coms of the season, Kubo-san Won't Let Me Be Invisible. Uh, so I, I do appreciate the premise of this, that the main character is so quiet and so fade to the background that literally like people forget that he exists. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like they, they actually look at him and go, I, oh my God, I saw the guy. I saw the guy. Where is he? I don't know. I can't find any standing like right there. I think they say at some point, they're like, oh, you know, how do you deal with it when people sit on you? Because they don't notice you're there. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's just like, wow, that's super yeah. invisible. Um, he has to go up to the teacher every day to hand in his homework. The teacher will, will notice that he is here that day and not mark him absent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, but of course, he has a um, a neighbor in class <laughs> who is a cute girl who just won't leave him alone. Um, Much less Nagatoro-san, but certainly yeah. in that same sort so, of, I'm going to mess with you. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to bring that up. This is definitely in the same vein as Nagatoro-san. Yeah. Um, although I think here it's definitely quite different. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel as like cruel as the first episode of Nagatoro yeah. Zan was. <laughs> like mm-hmm. yeah. he, he's he's not actually a simp. He's just, you mm-hmm. know, you know, he's just I, I'm fine with the life that <clears throat> is created here. And you know, please don't, you know, call attention to me. And she's just like, oh, but I am. <laughs> yeah. Well and I think this is what makes it different is that Nagatoro San is needles the main character for just because she's uh, yeah, it's a whole romantic thing of you know I I I yeah. tease the, the guy I care about, but there's no other reason for it, right? There's nothing yeah. going on in his life. Kubo is clearly um, has problems in his life because of his condition. Um, like this, this is not good for him. And right. She is clearly trying to help him get out of that and trying to help him be more active, be more social, be more visible to other people. Uh, it, it's why I like a lot of things she does even when it's kind of pushing him out of his comfort zone, it's clearly there so that he will grow as a person. Yeah. Right. It's, it's very much <clears throat> reminds me of a more, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right term, but it reminds me a little bit of Comey. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Comey can't communicate if, you know, she was just had this like weird problem of everyone just going, I don't see you. I, you know, <laughs> you, you don't exist, you know, but you know, he's, and he's fine with that, but he's pairing up with somebody who's, who wants to help him with that mm-hmm. and being more active and being more in the world. Cause like, he's really not in the world. Right. And, you yeah. know, and, and, exactly. and literally, I mean, you know, it's just yeah. like, I mean, it's just weird. That, like she, t- she gets him to do something, right. And call attention to himself <clears throat> and people just go, Oh, he's here. Wait, where did he go? <laughs> yeah, you know, <clears throat> and 
and it's just like, and he's just like, oh. mm-hmm. you know. Well, it's but. sort of it's the more immediately funny aspect of Bunny Girl Senpai. Okay. Where in initially <clears throat> Bunny Girl Senpai, the uh, I think the it's Mai is her is her mm-hmm. name. She is absolutely invisible. Like, and it's for different reasons, but it's that kind of thing where you have somebody on the outside is like, what are you doing? You're doing these weird things and nobody's noticing. That's a bit odd. So it's like very similar in that vein, but Bunny Girl Senpai has humor and a little more seriousness and a little Mm -hmm. different elements going on. But it's the same kind of principle of like, you've got this character who is so hopelessly background Mm -hmm. that they are literally a piece of the furniture that nobody notices, you know? And then the other person who is, very much an outgoing extrovert who mm-hmm. wants to do some good. Yeah. I was like, that's nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it's cute, pretty to look at, you know? Yeah. It's, it's uh, um, I would say there's, there's quality put into just kind of the style and so forth. I like the kind of simplicity of it where um, uh, it's kind of the, the two of them are very much foregrounded in all yeah. that's going on. Um, a lot of attention paid to kind of how you, I have the eyes being drawn to different parts of the shots and so forth. So, yeah. I wonder if we'll go full on romance. Hmm. Oh, impossible. Hmm. She'll just help him out and then he'll be just fine. Right. <laughs> She'll yeah, graduate, exactly. and move on to college. It'd be great. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Moving on to Mononogatari, which I'll be honest, I have a difficult time remembering. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> this is an interesting one. Um, it kind of caught us by surprise because it goes in a lot of different, different directions. Starts very dark, uh, then moves into a very kind of bleach style universe where there are these evil spirits that go around attacking people, maybe. Um, and the main character is tasked with cleansing them and feels very strongly about cleansing them. But of course, it's more complicated than that. <clears throat> and the sort of twist is that there is a whole kind of family of these monsters that he now has to um, spend time with. And of course, that goes swimmingly. Yes, <laughs> everybody's very happy. About happy it. about yeah. this. Clearly. So happy. We're all so happy. 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 We're on board with this 100%. <laughs> <There's not. laughs> so, yeah. Um, so it's, it's odd because on the one hand, there's very much a shonen vibe to the whole thing. Yes. Uh, but it's also a little more grown up, not just in terms of the like art style and the, you know, the designs of the characters and so forth, but also in t- more terms of kind of the storytelling, the jokes that are being told are much more wry jokes. It's much yeah. more um, uh, just a, a, a more... I don't know, serious comedy, if you will. Yeah. Uh, black humor kind of thing. Right. Um, there's no face plants. There's no panty shots. None of that kind of stuff. Um, At least not until they get desperate halfway through the uh, series. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just Jennifer. wait. Yeah. So so this this series is, <clears throat> again, you know, aimed for an, an older audience, a slightly mm-hmm. older audience. And, <clears throat> again, this is another world where – People accept that these things exist, mm-hmm. and there's a way to deal with these things, and that's what this mm-hmm. guy is part of. And his problem is, of course, that you know his brother and sister were killed by one of these things that got out of control, mm-hmm. and um, you know, so he has a definitive attitude of, "Oh no, we just we just handle this stuff. We we run rough shot, and we we send them on their way." Yeah. Whereas <clears throat> the the senpai there who's talking to him, his grandfather, I think, mm-hmm. is saying, no, you know, these are lost souls. They're, they came here for some reason, not of their mm-hmm. own choice. Mm-hmm. And it's up to us to say, it's okay, we'll send you back. Mm-hmm. And so in a gentle way, with the, the idea that if you do it this way more peacefully, you know, you're not going to cause problems around yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Things aren't going to get destroyed. People aren't going to get hurt. Mm-hmm. He, the boy, doesn't quite see it that way. And he no. just wants it done. And just mm-hmm. over with, and send the send their butts back. Yeah, yeah his um, young Turk moment where it's like, I destroy yeah. everything. I'm like, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> here we go. This is yeah. going good. So you know, of course, they're just like, well, if you want to do this, then we're going to send you to this place, mm-hmm. and they're going to be this family of them of people who who do this 
they're the monsters too, but they're helping their fellow friends because they understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. And and the kid is just not having it. Nope. In the first episode, at least. So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But this is not Bleach. There's no, you know, Matt. You know, oh, I forget what the name of the swords are, but you know, there's mm-hmm. there's none mm-hmm. of the magic swords or you know this <clears throat> big hierarchy of demons and things like that. No, it's pretty simple. It's like yeah, they're so back far. from the de- yeah. So far. <laughs> yeah, so far. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple. It's it's mm-hmm. it's really straightforward. And uh, yeah. but it you start off going ah ah, <laughs> yeah, ah. yeah, I kind of got the sense that with the his going to experience, you know, life amongst the uh, the mm-hmm. Yunghai monsters, that you're going to get a little bit more like you know, understanding of them, his Mm -hmm. psychology to, you know, sort of calm down, Mm -hmm. but you're still going to have a lot of shonen moments where there's going to be, you know, I tried talking, but that just didn't work, and I'm Mm going to have to beat him up now. It's like, okay. So Mm -hmm. I I can see from the get-go for one episode how probably his character arc will go. Mm -hmm. Um, He's going to be exactly how he is for six episodes. And then, and then he's some, learn what grandpa was yeah. correct. Yes, yeah. so, so, something horribly tragic is going to happen. He's going to go, oh, yeah. whoop, whoop, okay, got to pull back a little bit. And then he's going to start sort of softening over the last six. Yeah. So that's that. That's great. If you're into yeah. that, that's 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 a good way to go. The character mm-hmm. designs are interesting. The yeah. background designs, I really, really yeah. liked. Like, mm-hmm. especially that courtyard scene like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that sort of almost pebbly kind of look where it's like yeah. not entirely sharp mm-hmm. it's like that's a neat artistic kind of style to it so there's mm-hmm. some very definitely interesting artistic choices that they're making yeah. there for the style so cool agreed so yeah it's it's uh it's sort of a, a wild card of this yeah. season i would say yeah. I, i'm waiting i'm looking at this particular scene and i'm waiting for them to start doing the dance <laughs> exactly like the everything. electric slide <laughs> YMCA. Exactly. Um, one I do not actually have video for, but John looked at, was the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady. Yes, which I, it's it's a surprisingly cute show as it continues going forward. Mm-hmm. Um, you have, jeez, I'm trying to trying to think of like a good way <laughs> good way to describe this one. Um. Oh, the mm. <laughs> the things happen, and then well, it, it's one of these interesting things where you have the uh, princess herself. Um, she is a wild card kind of kid. Like yeah. she gives up on her um on her ascension to the throne. I think if this is the one I remember mm. correctly. Um, so that she could work on her magical engineering. Okay. Um, her brother, who is the the you know crown prince, mm-hmm. some reason he decides to cast off his uh, his fiance. Okay. Um, for reasons that if you watch it, you can certainly see it's um okay. it's not an unused trope. It's it's okay. actually been used in the last couple of seasons, a lot of shows. Mm-hmm. Um. So the girl who's the genius young lady, she's really sweet. She's trained to be the queen. She's gone through all of this effort to try and, you know, be the wife of the future king. Mm. Now she's lost her station. Mm. And she, you know, she's kind of a little adrift. The wild card princess who's working on this stuff as kids had seen this girl use Uh, magic. So she's like, huh. I already told dad, I, re, you know, I've renounced mm-hmm. the throne and I have no interest in being married off to a man. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay. So she then goes and rescues the, the damsel in distress and mm-hmm. says, listen, your magic is beautiful. Mm-hmm. I have all these things that I can do. You know, it or, already her father is the king and the duke mm-hmm. is his advisor. Has like a, a, looks like a little coffee pot on his desk. Mm-hmm. Well, it's magic stones heating up the water so they can make tea. 
versus like yeah. you know in this sort of fantasy medieval mm-hmm. kind of world you don't mm-hmm. have machinery like that yeah. so the princess is striking out on this new magical engineering kind of thing and now she's mm-hmm. got her bestie that she can take along with her and there are um possible ship vibes involved in that with the really yes i the, am uh, shocked it's so far not really heavy-handed <laughs> Okay, but good. yeah, yeah. Um, like when they are sort of laying on a bed and talking to each other, and there's like mm-hmm. sweet talking, not mm-hmm. overly yeah, yeah. suggestive sweet mm-hmm. talking, but just like yeah. I'm so glad that I rescued you. Mm-hmm. You know, I think we can do great things together. And it's like I got you. I I, mm-hmm. I see yeah. where the yeah. where love mm-hmm. interest is going. Mm-hmm. Um, I it will be very interesting to see how the brother, the choices he made how that affects things. Like I'm, I'm curious to see how the court issue is going on because mm-hmm. everything's kind of been explained to dad, the King okay, and the Duke, who's his advisor. That's his daughter is the genius lady. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's like, you've got a lot of like Royal things kind of going on. It's like mm-hmm. the arranged marriage with the King's son mm-hmm. and his primary advisor that just got busted up and everybody's like mm-hmm. what's going on i'm like okay yeah so keep me watching it it's yeah. fun to watch the um the princess is trying to uh she's trying to uh, create a flying broom okay so she's trying to use magical engineering and it, she keeps screwing it up <laughs> she keeps crashing <laughs> so it's just it's got funny kind of things going okay. on with it there's other nice. stuff in the background that's happening and mm-hmm. it's like it's it's cute right. enough i i definitely cool. want to see where they're gonna go yeah i I will. Uh, it's odd for me to say. I don't give a crap about their their shipping in this. Mm. I'm just. It's fun the interactions. Yeah. Do you feel like they're heading in the direction that they will, you know, definitively start a romance? I don't know. Okay. You know, it's it. It feels like. I think I'm two episodes in. Mm. I might be three. Um, mm-hmm. it feels like the the. The drive on this might be mm-hmm. something like, oh, the crown prince, something's going on. And, mm-hmm. you know, you've pointed out so much that this princess, she's renounced the throne. It's like, ah, are you going to twist? There's going to be, it feels like there's going to be a twist where mm-hmm. her best bud and her are going to expose the prince. Right. And right. he's going to yeah, lose yeah. the right to the crown. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you're going to have the new queen and her queen i like Mm -hmm. maybe i mean i feel where that could easily be where this is Mm -hmm. going to go to yeah um it doesn't feel heavily put upon so i don't think that's going to be like oh yeah oh yeah this will be great Mm -hmm. like no i think that would be it feels like that would be very side to the story okay interesting Um, so we'll we'll see yeah we'll see i mean I, i don't there's no sense of like whether Mm-hmm. her having that option like which for mercury that's not there's not a concern for that mm-hmm. you can have um two girls in a relationship right. nobody cares it doesn't matter mm-hmm. there's no sense yet in the world as to whether the king is like oh my gosh this is outrageous mm-hmm. no this mm-hmm. can never happen so that okay. part of gotcha. the world is not filled in yet uh, okay interesting so, okay. No. gotcha so we'll see we'll yeah see. It would be cool if this is a, a series where eventually, like they they do, um, form a relationship, you know. Yeah. Um, and this this is a very slow build up to that yeah. point. And that it's, it would be nice if it was a natural progression. Yeah. That is not the central point of it. Yeah. yeah well, you know. Right. Yeah. I, I would love a romance that's not based on we met and our eyes locked and we fell in love. Yeah. Instead, we met and then. By getting to know each other, right? <laughs> we, you know, built a stronger relationship. Hey, wouldn't that yeah. be a, a a really you know nice thing to show the kids? So, so, so we don't want a Yuri AMV with Cascada doing the the, the techno song behind it. I have no idea. One more that. night. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. One more For those of you time. who know, boom, 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 boom. no, not not Interstellar. No. Okay. <laughs> um, but we definitely had some more, um, something a little more overt than that with oh, yes. my life as Inukai-san's, Inukai-san's dog. Oh, 
<laughs> so um, here's the thing, folks. It's actually mildly entertaining, but it is. But it's you really know where it's going. going. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's 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 no hiding it. There's nothing. No nope. nope. They're they're very, for want of a better term, out front with it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah <laughs> it's an isekai. It's an isekai. But well, kind of. I mean, he's kind in of. The same world, but yes, definitely. Yes. Reincarnated. Yeah. He's reincarnated as a dog, and he's found by his classmate, who is, you know, considered to be a whatever ice queen or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she gets him home, and she it completely adores him. There's there's a there's a line from a movie uh, I forget the name of it um, where the 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 woman plays a talk show host about dogs and and she goes remember it's okay to love your pet just don't love your pet <laughs> she's not getting the message this one oh we I don't think know. we think yeah, I don't we know. think yeah. it's very suggestive it's very oh right, it's it's I mean yeah I think it's more just you know. Edgy nonsense. <laughs> it's, a, it's an excuse for. A, well, oh, certainly, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's an excuse to for get... a dog's point of view for somebody who's mm-hmm. wearing a skirt. Yes, mm-hmm. it's more yes. that kind of idea. Uh-huh. Like, it, and it know. takes it takes the dude a long time to figure out. It does. Dogs. Yes. Um, I'll put it this way: like she gets undressed within like four minutes into this episode. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Because of course oh. he's really dirty, and so she needs to clean him off. So she needs to. You know, so she needs to take a down. bath with the dog. Right. Yeah, oh. exactly. And you notice I'm not recording through this uh, episode. Yeah, yeah. No. And, and 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 you know, and she finds him so adorable that she feels the need to hold his face mm-hmm. and yes. stick her tongue on his nose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a weird moment. That was a weird. Well, it was even weird. That was, was a long weird, weird moment. Weird moment. Yeah, <laughs> like, and, and not only was that weird, but the intro to the anime, mm-hmm. where we, where you will see some stuff, and you'll be like, uh, mm-hmm. "Oh, oh, is this what we get to look forward to?" Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, they want to um, make sure you understand what you're going to watch. So they right, yes, want you to, exactly. They don't want you to just brush this off as some fluff piece. <laughs> can, right you imagine, can, you, can you imagine some mom out there going, oh, this is a, such a sweet story about he's reincarnated as a dog and his friend mm-hmm. finds him. And this, oh, it's going to be so sweet. Let me show it to my 10-year-old daughter. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> um, unless your daughter wants to learn about uh, things ahead of their t- every time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Um, but that said, it's a goofy, etchy comedy, right? It's very much right. It's, it's, it's entertaining. Right? Yeah. yeah it's know, entertaining. No judgment. In other words, if you're watching, yes, yeah. I, I exactly. It. It's, it's exactly. I, I doubt it's going to uh, to deliver a life lesson necessarily. No. <laughs> <laughs> you will and find merit in and be like, oh, this has changed my whole life. Mm-hmm. It, you might find something that flips the switch for you, which is your own yeah. problem, not ours. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, moving right along to a show that's perhaps <laughs> the exact opposite of this show, Near Automata version 1.1a. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. So this is an adaptation of the very well-known uh, modern video game, Near Automata, uh, and thus far, it is a just sort of adapting the story of the first, you know, uh, few hours of the game. I have played a good chunk of Nier Automata, um, and so this was kind of fun for me seeing a lot of these things uh, back um, and, and seeing various visual adaptations of this. Um, but more importantly, what did you guys think? So I, I liked it. Um, mm-hmm. it, visually, the animation, I, you know, I, I haven't played, I knew it was from something, but I wasn't mm-hmm. aware that it was a video game. Um, but you know, it, it's doesn't have the feel of a video game anime, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so like, if you never told me that this was a video game, I would never have guessed, mm-hmm. right? Whereas some, some of the other ones, you could be like spot <laughs> the tropes, you know, right? Yep. And yeah. so, Nier is not tropey. <laughs> That's one of yeah. the things about it. It's like, what the hell is yeah. going on? Yeah. Yeah. And so th- it's doing the thing, and it was very engaging. Like, I really enjoyed watching this and the action and what was going on. And 
you know, the world that they're in. And one of the things that I had been thinking about since watching it was like, <clears throat> you know, if this was the one and only episode, mm. it would still be really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, do, you can contain this within just this, this one episode. This yeah. could have been like a one episode OVA. And I think people would have been like, Ooh, yep. um, an but it's cutscene to the game, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Um, and it is, I I liked it. I you know yeah. I you know I'll I'll sit down and watch a few episodes in a row. Mm -hmm. Sure. I say I've known of the game. I've seen all the figures and uh, mm -hmm. Nendoroids, Figma figures, all kinds of figures of, of, from the game. And I, I was like, yay! Finally, I have, I have finally have a chance to actually see something that maybe will explain a little bit of it. So yeah. I don't have to spend <laughs> six years playing the whole series. <laughs> um, I I really it's an intriguing kind of world and I, i'm looking forward to more explanation of why do the machines look mm -hmm. like that yep. and right. the automata mm -hmm. like seem to like vastly more advanced oh, yeah. yeah like mm -hmm. light years different you know they can mm -hmm. use swords they can yep. do all the things and like the machine creatures just kind of seem to clank along and like these mm -hmm. little tin toy kind of machines it's like weird isn't it yeah, they don't seem particularly threatening. I mean, no. there's a lot of them. I give it that yeah. much. But... So I'm curious to know, like, what's going on behind the world. We've gotten mm -hmm. a little bit of information about where humans are in this whole mess and mm -hmm. how they are resisting and continuing to move forward as best they can. And yeah. I'm looking forward to more detail on that. And yeah. Given that you had said there's a lot of different ways that this, the video game goes, I will Ooh, yeah. be very curious to see how do they navigate mm -hmm. like yeah. if there are multiple endings that that can occur through you know certain specific events how are you mm -hmm. navigating a middle ground that gives a yeah. contiguous story mm -hmm. that somebody who has never played the game would be like oh okay that this makes sense from beginning to end mm -hmm. yeah so we'll see. what's also nice is everything you're wondering about is addressed damn nice in the story so all of these weird things i was playing is like okay video game you know whatever this that 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 they're like oh no no there's a reason for that and you, you know the years and you're like oh you know it's oh, damn it's okay. that kind of thing where they're like no we, we, we thought about everything in this game pretty much wow so, yeah you have you have much to look forward to if you continue on this journey nice cool uh, yeah yeah um Again, apologies. Turn left, turn right. Um, moving on to Nijion Animation. Uh, one of the downsides of going alphabetically through this. Uh, this is based on apparently a very popular four coma manga, web manga, uh, about a group of high school idols hanging out in their club room chatting. Yep. <laughs> that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. And it's not bad. It's it's obviously all kind of CGI, um, you know, uh, chibi girls. I mean, the problem two is character models. Two yeah. character models. This is clearly made for people who loved that web comic. Yeah, yeah. And so it's oh, it's that girl, and it's that girl, and oh, great, we get to, to watch them actually move around. It just it doesn't immediately <laughs> appeal. Yeah, I suppose Kobotos in the hospital bed. All right, yeah. She could yeah. blink. <laughs> um so it's not and, and like they they do a a fine job we were actually talking about this that like um this feels like an effective approach to cgi animation you know with, with right. the limited animation it's perfectly watchable there's a good amount of movement um it's it's not hard to watch but it's just this yeah it's just them yeah. chatting. It's like Vazrock. Um, yeah. Like, uh, okay. Ex except slightly more entertaining. Yes, definitely more entertaining. Yeah, definitely I more definitely love this more than Vazrock. <laughs> like yeah. no offense. <laughs> like I, I love how you guys describe Vazrock to me. You said no, this is this is it. This is all awesome <laughs> for me. And I watched, and I was just like, no, there's got to be more. No, oh my god, this is it. This is all there is for me. This is a little bit better. Yeah. Mm hmm. Doesn't help. This is an introduction episode too, and here's here's every character. Yep. So that doesn't help too much. But hey, it's cute. These um, are all the figures you can buy in the yeah. blind box lineup <laughs> if you buy all thirty boxes. Oh, mm -hmm. sweet. Um, also cute, but surprisingly 
heartfelt, despite being a goofy comedy, was Oni My I'm Now Your Sister. Um, in which a hardcore otaku wakes up to discover that he is now a cute girl. <laughs> because anime. Uh, yeah. Anime. yeah. Awesome. Uh, and then finds out that his uh, his mad scientist sister has done this to him <laughs> because anime. Yeah. It's going to help him out ultimately. Be, be, because her, yeah. her research project. Yes, yeah. exactly. So what's your research project? It's a research project. That's all <laughs> you need to know. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, wackiness ensues, uh, as you might imagine. Um, and main character is surprisingly okay with it, really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty quickly. It, 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 until he, she finds the, the yaoi, you know, yeah. gameplay, <laughs> gameplay, and she's crying, and sister comes in and goes, why are you crying? I am mildly attracted to this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going in that. And she actually, I think, says, oh, so that's the direction we're going in. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I thought this was, I mean, it's it's a premise that's not like un, unheard right. of. It's no. like, had these things <laughs> right. happen before. Yeah, we already had definitely. the ninja turn into a girl. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it just, it could have gone so much more etchy, yeah. But it like it just skirts right along the edge of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I mean, it literally okay. just we're gonna take you there, we're gonna take you there. No, 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 we're gonna bring yeah, you well, back. Bring you back. <laughs> like, okay, and it's you know it's a cute idea of how to how to uh, how to cure the the what was it home security specialist of his <laughs> yes. he, of his he home security officer ways. Yeah. home security officer. Of yeah. his hikikomori ways, and to really shake up his world. I mean, you there know, it is. Like, yeah. Yep. So, 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 yeah. He's he's basically Shannon lost his job. He doesn't care, and this is his life now. And his genius sister is just like. I think the research project honestly is just to get him up and moving yeah. and getting oh, out. Oh, you see that in the episode. Yeah, like the name yeah, of the research yeah. project is Oni Chan or something. Yeah. 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 And so, but. I think one of the things about this is, is that even though it's a trope that we've seen over and over and over again, yeah. part of it is that the animation is good. Oh. And it is, yeah. is, is, I think you guys were actually, as I was watching it, just entranced by it, you, you two were talking about just going, why do they spend so much money on this? Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, you, I think yeah. that's what you guys are saying, but the animation is, <clears throat> is really, really top notch in this. And it's, it's also the premise of this is is also a little bit more grounded and realistic in 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 so far that instead of ninja magical girl oh yeah kind of thing going on here mm -hmm. we're just doing this and we're mm -hmm. just adapting this person yeah. to this world now because mm -hmm. you know remember he goes out and exercises like the for, for the first time in like two years yeah and it, which is hilarious results yeah um yeah. But yeah, I it, mean, it's it. But John, you're right. It just takes you right to right right to the line, mm -hmm. and then brings you back, and mm -hmm. it's it's just just right there. But and again, I still this want is, to know why they dump so much money, money, activity. Yes. Everything's moving. Everything's mm -hmm. going on. It's like they've done it I, I, again. It's another example of like the character models are not. Like super incredible right. detail. They're not, yeah. you know, it's not like Fire Hunter where you're just looking at it like, yeah. oh dear God, this is artistic. This is mm -hmm. like funny kind of animation, but it's just entirely animated. Everything's happening. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Where did you come from with this money for this? How you know was this like a, the greatest sales pitch in the universe? <laughs> <laughs> like the production group was like, well, we've got all this extra money lying around. Somebody's like, I have, oh, I got an idea for you. <laughs> Because it does, it's just richly animated. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn. Yeah. And like we were talking before, great use of lighting, great use of color. Yeah. You know, when they're out uh, running during golden hour and just the, the light streaming everywhere. Yeah. Just there's, there's, they went hard on this show and I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. It was, it was unexpected where this show could have just been a cheap throwdown for, for a few, for, few right. walls mm -hmm. and then just, yep. you know, moved on to next season. Yeah, it's like no, you guys made yeah. you guys put effort to this for purpose. So okay. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. It's great. 
Yeah, light and shadow. I mean, oh. you didn't have to like go that hard on the on the tree. <laughs> yeah, you, you could have just left it as a blob for a mm -hmm. shadow, and then just focused on whatever else was going on. But it's like, nope, yep. they've just done all the things. They do this whole reverse shot in the water. Yeah, right, and it's like watercolored, Jeez. not like watercolored, but watercolored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to that just for the animation. I um, love that one scene right there. Yeah, they're chafing. That was fantastic. <laughs> so dramatic, and then yeah. so not. Um, moving on to Reborn to Master the Blade. This is one which you know the, the title. I was like, okay, that is a guy series. Not quite. Uh, main character is an old king. Uh, as he is dying, he chooses to reincarnate with the opportunity to actually master the art of the blade that he, uh, when he became more of a political leader. Yeah. So he's in this sort of fantasy world. He ended up becoming this great, uh, great king, great leader, conquered all sorts of stuff, but never really, you know, got that skill with the blade that he, he wanted to he have a whole other lifetime to master. Can either of you think of where they've come, where they've had this premise before? I was trying to think yeah. about where it's like, you know, so many isekais are, I don't know what I'm doing and now I'm powerful. Right. So many of them are like, right. have this, have, <clears throat> a, have a different take on it. It's like, I can't, I couldn't in my I mean, mind think of like being isekai where mm -hmm. I was super powerful mm -hmm. and now I just want to master that one specific yeah. skill. I don't care about power. It's not like couldn't come up with one. Not learning a skill specifically. <laughs> We've certainly had anime where people get reborn um, specifically, you know, where they're like, no, I, I want right. this, I want that, I want that. Um, or I want uh, to live a quiet life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we, I want to be know, a... Okay. Yeah, that, there was... Um, I, I, told, I thought I told you to make my abilities average in the next life. Yeah. Right, where she wants to be average. Um, but yeah, not one that's just a straight up, I want... This specific life that I can think. Well, I guess the the farmer anime for a little yeah. bit later on, because he just yeah. wants to be a farmer. True. Okay. True. That's a good, very good point. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. gonna say because I was sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, it's really yeah. interesting. You go from being like not a god king, but mm -hmm. a, a king very heavily blessed by the goddess. Yeah. You are incredibly powerful, and your one aim to return is literally to just potentially be no one but just the mm -hmm. master of your art mm -hmm. you don't care what else other things happen you just want to be doing your art and you're good mm -hmm. and it's like ah, oh, that's, that's pretty that's an interesting take yeah mm -hmm. unfortunately for him he reincarnates <laughs> as a little girl yeah it's a wee little baby <clears throat> wee little girl um <laughs> and uh unfortunately um well hijinks ensue shall we say yeah um as he kind of starts uh, getting involved with things. And uh, let's just say the stakes keep rising as the anime goes along. Yeah, Part of the yeah. fun of it is just both being like, oh, that, oh no, oh, okay, he's gonna do that. Um, one thing I really appreciated in this story was the sort of uh, character building, how he reincarnates into this family and you get to see, okay, here's this person, here's that person, this person's gonna obviously end up with that person, you know, this person ages up and becomes goes there. So there's very much um, establishing all of these character routes kind of through the story of who's who. Um, and it's kind of uh, uh, well done. And then as he ages up, of course, things happen and he has to show off his, uh, um, his skill to various people, including the wonderful, nice, totally not evil character here. Yes. <laughs> he was a sweetheart. Yeah, sure yeah. was. So, yes, so he was. Humble and so yeah. modest. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, and so, of course, you know, uh, girls can't use swords. Well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> they can kick your butt if they have to. Exactly. So, a lot of, I don't know, very, this felt good for me. Like I, I, I felt very satisfied with how the plot of this developed, how they set things up, and then the dominoes kind of fell 
on their setup uh, in this. Yeah. Because, again, the, the main character is not trying to amass power, mm-hmm. but right. trying to be good at yeah. what, what he wants to do. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm just glad that they <laughs> – there was a point where they didn't change the old man's voice when – yeah. He's reincarnated to the body. Yeah. I'm like, like, please don't do that. Play for the rest of the series. Please don't do that. Please don't confuse me like that. Wow, does this dress make me look good? Uh, I like my hair up. Oh, no, no, no. But, you know, like the, the character uses his, his prior experience of like going, oh, I know what this is. So mm-hmm. let's do this. And does try to make the other people do it so that he mm-hmm. doesn't you know, give away what, you know, yeah. anything or, you know, impede his own course of action. Mm-hmm. And so that, but then of course, you know, usually the thing happens and he goes, ah, okay, I'm going to have to step in. Yeah. yeah. Wah, 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 yeah. Wah. <laughs> you know, exactly. And, and, yeah. That's a nice thing. Like he's not trying to conquer the world. He's not trying to do anything. He's just trying to right. pursue his skill. Yeah, I agree. Yes, it's quite cute to watch a five-year-old whoop the living a lot of a fourteen-year-old brat. Yeah, definitely. Very good times. So. Good times. Yeah, I'm looking um, forward to this one because it's it's it just seems it's a nice fun concept. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one that we have not seen, but John has reincarnation of the strongest exorcist in another world. Yeah, which I you know that was one of those where it's they've done that thing before i mean we've seen mm-hmm. isekai stuff all over the place um an interesting concept of a very powerful omnioji who you know amassed the power necessary to protect people mm-hmm. and then in the process of protecting them kind of like destroyed half a city Ooh. you know uh which then of course frightened the government mm. And they then sent his own students out to kill him mm. because he was a threat. Mm-hmm. So his his power, it's interesting, there's not any kind of like God grant of reincarnation. Mm. The last thing he does is actually use his Omnioji power to somehow summon himself into a new world. Interesting. Okay. It's I mean, it's, it's yeah. like, okay, okay, that's it's, it, oh, that's a very interesting Isekai power. <laughs> like, yeah. so yeah. do you retain that when you go mm. to the reincarnated world? Like, mm. you can now, like, control your destiny. So if you don't like that mm. one, you can do a, you can do mulligan. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, <laughs> yeah. now this life sucks. I'm just going to do the whole thing again. And off I go. Um, and I think that is the one where he's the youngest son. Mm, in mm-hmm. a in a royal in a not in a oh lesser, yeah we noble did, family we yeah. did watch this one the yeah. three of us watched this one yeah yeah and it's like so he he doesn't have any magical powers now mm-hmm. he's learned his lesson that being too powerful in his world that he wasn't cunning enough he was mm-hmm. not careful oh I remember yeah, making okay, sure yeah, yeah. that he didn't make enemies that he didn't stand mm-hmm. out too much yeah um and his two brothers are are. Right, gifted with magic, so mm-hmm. they're going to naturally train. They're going to go to the magic academy, and that all he can use is kind of like mana. I think that's mm-hmm. what he called yeah. it. I don't think it was uh, the one with the, <clears throat> the old man to a little girl. It was mana mm-hmm. versus ether. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I think this one it was magic versus mana. Okay. I think that was the difference in in the reincarnation of strongest. Um, so he can do magical things, just not in the way of like incantation mm-hmm. and spells necessarily. Right. Um, so, you know, and that's, you get the middle brother who's jealous of him. Um, mm-hmm. You have the cute servant girl. All right. The middle brother right. wants to have visit his chambers and he treats her like a slave, mm-hmm. which she is an owned uh, mm-hmm. servant, but he wants to treat her uh, poorly one would say mm-hmm. so yeah. youngest brother has to step in and you've got conflict mm-hmm. oldest brother doesn't know what to do mm-hmm. um he's he wants to be a peacekeeper but he can't really step mm-hmm. in too much mm-hmm. because they they are the chosen sons and the youngest yeah. is only mm-hmm. the the, the yeah. um offspring of a, 
yeah, consort yeah. of the of, consort, of, of the yeah, father. and and even the father is just like very dismissive of yeah. the youngest yes. son when it's learned that he can't do the magic like the others. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so far, I'm I'm enjoying the show. I mean, cool. I, it's it's kind of nice. Again, we're getting a lot of fantasy stuff this season. Yeah, and I'm enjoying that. You know, cool. like uh, you know, when you got near automata to watch, where it's like, wow, dystopian forward future <laughs> androids killing stuff. Okay, yeah, and let's just go fantasy land. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with it. I'm really. I, it mm-hmm. intrigues me how he's going to be more cunning. Okay, because he, you know, his power kind of leaks out, and people are seeing that he's got powers Mm -hmm. and I want to see how his cunning sort of goes. I know the, the servant girl has, I was going to say, yeah, he discovers vision power Mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So Mm -hmm. it's like, is he going to be cunning and use people towards what end, Mm -hmm. you know, if he can get her to look like she's doing magic and he can sort of control it from behind the scenes to be like, Oh no, no, I, I can't do magic. She's the magic one. Right. To, to what end do you then do that? To make mm-hmm. her status rise that she's not just an indentured servant? To write, you know, to, for you to mm-hmm. eke out your own path since you're not going to inherit the dukedom or mm-hmm. whatever the, the lesser noble family title was? What, you know, so that's where I'm curious to see where it's going to go. How are you going to mm-hmm. use this cunning to your benefit and to the hopeful benefit of others around you? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, very intrigued. Yeah, I love an anime where the protagonist has an ulterior motive. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Um, moving on to another show that kind of surprised us uh, this time around: um, saving eighty thousand gold in another world <laughs> for my retirement. Uh, sort of a teen girl finds herself in another world, just kind of teleports there. Um, after let's just say something bad happens, yeah, yeah, you know? a series of unfortunate events. Exactly. <laughs> yes. yes. So she ends up in this fantasy world um, and uh, ends up rescuing a young girl um, in the forest. One thing I like is that um, she doesn't understand the language. Yes. Everyone's speaking this completely foreign language. Uh, that, that was a resolved. nice commitment to that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like it revol- uh, resolved over time as they kind of interact with things um, and we find out what's what kind of a little bit more of what's going on with the world. Uh, and we find out that what she what's actually happening here um, is that she has the ability to, and we'll see if we can see it here. Um, she has the ability to, there we go. Uh, teleport back to her previous life and house on earth and like gather things and bring them with her to the other world. And she can basically dimension hop now. That is her power. And it's basically what's happened, what she is given um, as uh, compensation, if you will, for the horrible thing that happened to her and everything going around. Yeah. So she can now actually um, take advantage of the differences between these worlds. Thus the kind of the premise of, oh, now I can set myself up in the real world if I take advantage of uh, sort of trade discrepancies, if you will, between different worlds and, oh, they don't know what this is and so forth and so on. Uh, and so kind of establishing a life for herself. I'm waiting for the moment where she goes over the bag of rice and says, here's five pounds of rice. And they say, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. Here's 50 pounds of gold. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Because I have a feeling at some point in time that thing is going to happen. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a nice different premise, and also it's for the one scene with the wolves where we we're just like, oh damn, yeah, oh, yeah, damn. Uh-huh. oh, yeah. oh, oh, mm-hmm. was it Santuku knife? No less. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> a little gruesome there for a moment. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, I also just like the idea of a teenage girl who presumably has not had to, k- to care for herself yeah um now getting an opportunity and taking it yeah and very much making a life for herself that's pretty darn cool 
because she is she is operating under a, her own authority. Absolutely. You know, because for the events in her life that had transpired mm-hmm. prior to the event that yeah. led to this power, yeah. mm-hmm. um, rather than being crushed by it and this being mm-hmm. like an escapist kind of thing, like oh, I yeah. get out of this, it's like mm-hmm. no, there's like planning there's you know discussion about like what her Mm -hmm. finances could be or would be and like you know what are the best means of like dealing with this you know it's like Mm -hmm. okay wow you don't generally get that much authority out of someone this young like Mm -hmm. this yeah and nice and i and i enjoy how she invokes and we won't get into what happens to her family but Mm -hmm. invokes her older otaku brother Yes. Who, mm-hmm. like, I don't know what to do. And then the Otaku brother shows up and goes, ah, this is what you do. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. And he, he sort he of like the, the Obi-Wan kind yeah, of thing. The, yeah. Thing where <laughs> yeah. The Force ghost comes Force out. Force ghost. He, a, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He comes out and goes, well, in a fantasy world for an isekai. And he actually says that. Yeah. He says, this is what you do. Yeah. Thank you, Oni chan. Exactly. Go stab me some wolves. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I'm curious to see about it because I I like mm-hmm. I I want to see they've addressed the the world hopping, mm. but I'm I would also really like to know whether there is time dilation. Mm. So if yeah. she spends a week isekai, mm-hmm. does she, if she comes back to our world? Mm. Is it has it just been a week? Mm-hmm. Or are you going to find there's like oh I spend a week in that that world I come back it's been a year you know it's like right. I. I, I'll be curious to see that because she has mm-hmm. to maintain a modern house in the modern right. world, mm-hmm. and it's like so. I mm-hmm. maybe it's not addressed. I'll be. I'll just interesting to see if it is. Okay, fair enough. Um, all right, another sort of a girl power anime in a very different way was Spy Classroom. Yes. Um, so I got to admit, I really enjoyed this one. Um, uh, because again, it's sort of it's aimed at a somewhat older audience. Basic premise is there's spy stuff happening between totally not two Cold War nations, <laughs> um, and the main characters are these group of girls who've all kind of failed out of various spy academies. They're all brought together under the tutelage of uh, this guy, who is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a lot, a piece of work. We'll just put it that way. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. seem to really connect with anyone. Doesn't seem to really understand everything. Um, and basically, what I really like this episode is that the chipper, happy girl uh, decides to kind of go out with him and go out on, on a uh, on a not quite a date, but just sort of a, a now, date see with the, him. See the town. Outing. I see. I see the town exactly. And then proceeds to like confront him about what's going on and go. I know exactly what's going on here. This is a suicide mission. We're all going to die. And I'm taking my um, life in my hands here, and I'm going to do what I can to stop you. Yeah. Um, and that fails. And that kind of sets up the rest of the story of, oh, there's a lot more going on here in terms of who he is, what he is, what's going on. Uh, and that kind of establishes them as their characters and uh, their kind of goals and such. Um, and it becomes much more a, no, no, no. We are going to go on this mission and we're going to, we're going to kill it. Like we're going to succeed on this mission. Uh, we just have to figure out how to do it in the meantime. Yeah. And he's not a very good teacher. No. <laughs> <laughs> not very good is generous. Abysmal yeah. would be probably a better way. He, he tries to show them how to pick a lock and he just does it. And, and it just moves so fast. They're just like, uh, we didn't get it. And he's literally like, how could you not? Yeah, <laughs> just you watch. Shh. Oh, what? what? How are you just not do that. getting Just yeah. do that. How are you not getting this? <laughs> we we can't. Please slow down a little. <sighs> okay, fine. I mean, it's yeah. just... It's, 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 yeah. it's, a, it's a cute show, but... Yeah, yeah I, I like the way that the having enjoyed licorice recoil and having seen girl assassins Mm -hmm. um seeing this as girl spies Mm -hmm. will be uh, because there's going to presumably also be some some assassin work in there i guess Mm -hmm. um so i i I like 
the chipper main character and i want to see more of like how do all these characters interact with each other with this guy who can't really help them he's just Mm -hmm. so damn good he just can't help them (laughs) right so so far above them that it's like he's difficult time stepping down enough to be able to help them up Mm -hmm. so i'd be very very interesting to see especially after you know that trick on the boat with trying to mm-hmm. derail what the government has planned for them and it's yeah. just like wow i mean I, I i see what you're doing but if you had succeeded mm-hmm. how would that have changed them killing you yep you know what i mean so right. it's like there's a lot of a lot of things at stake that we don't entirely know mm-hmm. yet yeah. so i'm looking forward to seeing how that's fleshed out as they're getting ready for the impossible mission Mm-hmm. Agreed. Um, kind of a sucker for this kind of stuff. I like it. Uh, moving on to Sugar Apple Fairy Tale, a very happy, mm-hmm. upbeat, cute anime um, mm. about a girl who just see she communicates to fairies through like pastry mm. and through bacon. It's great. Um, this this title is so misleading. Again, I can just see somebody's mom. What are you going, talking about, oh. Steve? See, it's very cute. It's very soft. It's very pretty. Uh huh. Nothing happens. It's it's uh, just, no, I mean, you know, it's just very idyllic, if you want. Yeah, it's, 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 it's great. She, you know, yeah, she, we don't cause pain to another living being by squeezing its wings. No, not at all. No, no. She just goes <laughs> and sees all the fairies in their cages. Because um, they like you know, cages, it makes them like feel cages, secure. Exactly. Right, it's it's absolutely fine. I don't know why you find this creepy at all. Yeah, um, I don't. It's, totally it's not vibe. slavery exactly. No, Most, no, it's no. like ninety nine percent, but it's not a hundred percent. Exactly. No, it's uh, it's totally fine. Um, yeah, it's it's a really weird <laughs> um, tone. This yeah, because yeah, because it really does start off with the girl with his or with her mom. Mm-hmm. And the mom is explaining, you know, hey, you know, we we have had problems with the fairies in the past, but the best way to communicate is to make these sugar things, and we mm-hmm. want to respect them because they're very good at what they do, and blah 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 blah. And so you think that this, and and they talk about her going to this contest mm-hmm. to this thing. So you think it's that? Yeah. Oh no! No no no! Oh no! No, it's not at all. No, it, it is. It is not. Um, it is. It's. Yeah. It's a. It's a whole thing. Um, yeah. Yes, you're it, viewing that correctly. Someone's yeah. holding that thing's wing, and mm-hmm. that's how they control it through pain. Because if they mm-hmm. take the other wing, which apparently I guess can be reattached, all they have yeah. to do is squeeze it and causes great pain. Mm-hmm. Now they tell you this, and you go, "Okay, we know now the threat. We, we can move on." Mm-hmm. Oh no, they have to show you the threat, uh-huh. and that's just kind of just like just sadistic, and it's oh just, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's not good. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's oh, um, so basically. She ends up um, you know, buying this very beautiful male fairy uh, as her bodyguard, um, and they set off on, a, on an adventure together. Um, what I really like is the how they set up the relationship between these two because we know what's happening here, right? Right. It's it's spice and wolf in you know a very unhealthy way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, you know, we know these two are ending up together. But the idea that uh, it ends, it starts with this very, not just unhealthy, but very kind of screwed up relationship where she's kind of using him yep. uh, for her own ends. And he knows that. And she's very naive, very innocent. Um, I just yes. think it, it sets up a, a really great arc for these characters in the future. Like, for example, she buys him again mm-hmm. to protect her on this journey to go to this contest. Mm-hmm. And she keeps saying, like, as if she can't understand why he's angry about the situation. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to let you go at the end of it. Yeah. And it's just kind of like totally like the point. I just, just want to be friends. Can we be friends? Be friends? Yeah. And, and he's just like, literally, just like, you can end me at any time with that yeah. thing. <laughs> and you're not freeing me now to make mm. those decisions. So yeah. 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 
up yours, little girl. So, you know. <laughs> uh-huh. Which I mean, it'd be I'll be curious to see how what the events are because they've laid out that it's a quite a journey yeah to get to this neck to the town that she's heading to that it's going to be taking some quite some time to get there yeah and it's like it'll be interesting to see the character development where she there's going to obviously and i don't don't know but it seems like that there's Mm -hmm. obviously going to be some tough lessons learned yeah Mm -hmm. where he is going to get less hard edged i hate mm-hmm. all humans and i'll kill sure. you and then i get my 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 wing back mm-hmm. um and she's going to run the oh why can't we be friends and some mm-hmm. hard lessons are going to be learned where she's mm-hmm. going to understand how things work yeah and mm-hmm. and i'll be curious to see that because this right now i mean he could snap her neck in a flat minute yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. like oh boy mm-hmm. so yeah, it's it's gonna go places, no doubt. Yeah, and it's it's unusual for anime to take on slavery yeah. this directly. Yeah, you know, where it's like there, there's no no sugarcoating this. No, they they tried with the title, <laughs> <laughs> which I mean, we've what was it? <clears throat> two yeah. seasons ago, the guy mm-hmm. by. He, he uh, was an adventurer, and he bought a slave Roxanne, and then he bought other slave girls. Oh, yeah. I think it was harem in a in a dungeon, and mm-hmm. like that yeah. was going a particular direction. Mm-hmm. This yeah. one is not dealing with the ha ha ho. Now we can have no. fun. Mm-hmm. This is this is kind of the harsh facts of like wow, oppressive, repressive, violent slavery. Yeah. Uh. Speaking of harsh facts of life, tale of outcasts. Mm. Um, I don't want to say much about this anime. I'll be honest. Mm. Um, basic premise is you have a um, put upon orphan girl, you know, kind of classic thing there. Um, and then she can see a wolf spirit, kind of uh, a demon. Yeah, he is surprised that she can see him, so he ends up like telling her a story. They end up sort of connecting. Um, bad things happen to her. She ends up in grave danger. Yeah. Not going to yeah. go much further than that. And he's going to rescue her and they go off. Yeah. Um, there's a, a side story about um, her brother. Where do we see yeah. her brother? Where, where does he show up? Um, no, no, no. There we go. Um, yeah, this whole fight scene here. Um, she has a brother, the brother fights demons, unstead demons, right? So, yep. obvious conflict there. But we were talking, you know, you had the idea of what was called torture porn, like Saw, the scene, right? Being, yeah, you know, tortured. This is kind of evil porn, you know, just people being yeah. evil to nice people over and over and over again, and it just, it just. Yeah. Felt tawdry and cheap, and just uh, it, it, you know, it it was not enjoyable in that. No, still, like, where it's like oh, I just I feel uncomfortable watching like this. Mm-hmm. Ah. Like like the first part of it, you know, you get to definitely the the Oliver sense of okay, mm-hmm. she's she's you know uh, you know or or Annie, you know, it's a hard enough life, whatever. Yeah, the kind of thing going up. Like, yeah, and this demon comes in, and you know, like you said, tells the story, and they were get this relationship you're like okay he's going to save her mm-hmm. kind of um yeah because you know again we, we don't really want to talk to it it's just that you know when you want to show that kind of abuse and mm-hmm. you go down that particular route mm-hmm. you have to wonder why yeah. who is this anime for it's it's for somebody Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. you don't make nothing. You don't make something out of nothing for mm-hmm. no reason. Yeah, you know. But this is not. This is not. I mean, and it's not that it's it, it's a heavy subject. It is, but it's right. not that it's it's making the point that oh, this is bad. It's just literally, as you point out, evil porn. No, no, we're just going to show you people being crappy to a, uh, to someone who's who's poor and defenseless and weak, and mm-hmm. we're going to make you, you know, um, you know, just watch, watch that. this and watch yeah. that. And and make sure that you understand that this is going to be repeated, in, mm-hmm. unless somebody does something. And mm-hmm. you know that's not what you. 
you know, I, I, I don't know who this is for, mm-hmm. you know, I, it, it, it's clearly for somebody. And I think <laughs> it, it, it's, but, but I think they really went the wrong route. I mean, there's ways mm-hmm. to communicate that she's having a rough life. And there's ways right. to go around as, of saying that she's in trouble and she's weak and she mm-hmm. needs help, but yeah. we don't need to see. I mean, some of the things we saw. Well, yeah. well, you know, John, not to get into it, but yeah, you know, John, you said, oh, and he's going to open the room to X. And we're like, mm-hmm. ha, ha, ha. And 30 seconds later, he opens the, the, the guy opens the door to yep. X. Mm-hmm. And, and we're all just like, mm-hmm. and, and we're going there. That's the point is that it's well, yeah. going there. And, and, it, and, and if they didn't have the character, the demon character come in at that point, it would have, you know, it mm-hmm. would have yeah. gone there. The problem to me is that, like, really heavy subjects like this, and I said not heavy, but you know, really uh, dark <laughs> subjects like this, yeah, need to be earned, right? You need to bring yeah. your audience along on that journey. You need to kind of prove to them that you have something to say about this. Like, there needs to be something. Yeah. When you throw that in episode one, it feels like cheap melodrama, right? It feels like, oh, we need something bad to happen to the characters, so a truck's going to hit their kid, right? And it's just like, yeah. well, uh, th- this comes out of nowhere. So it just, it felt to me unearned, if you will. And, it was hard and, to digest. And, and by the you know end I mean? of the... And by, like, yeah, and by the end of the episode, the way that she sa- yeah. saved, you're just like, well... <laughs> Have the truck hit the girl then. Right, exactly. You, you, you know, I mean, it's, you just go, mm-hmm. and then, you know, just this little self pitying, oh, but I'll have it in my mind. Yeah. And you can mm-hmm. tell me this first. And it's just like going, yeah. hating, yeah. hating, <laughs> hating this, hating yeah. it. Yeah. Um, uh... Yeah, and the I, other part of this is that he, he probably he kind of could, up, in, up until the very last point of the, of, of this of the show, mm-hmm. he doesn't care. Nope. Yeah. He doesn't nope. care. He's gonna leave her. Yep. Yeah. He's fine with it. I, I I feel I if it if it had been done in a, in a little bit more uh, into the series, mm-hmm. so a little yeah. more flashbacky by like episode mm-hmm. three or four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. I could have engaged the character. I could mm-hmm. have like had some some being invested somewhat in yeah. this, in the world building, and what That's they're doing point. with this. It's a great that point. it just. It, I'm not saying it, I bounced off it, but yeah. damn it, it should have been rubber. You know, I mean, I just this thing just hits, and it's like, God, this is just grim, dark, so quick, and I'm like, I, I have a hard time wrapping my head around it. Two words: Full Metal Alchemist. Right, they didn't start with oh, Eddie yeah. Al, right? Yeah, that's what they did. Here are these characters going on their journey, and then you find out what happened. You're like, oh, those poor kids, right? Yeah. That's right. what you're absolutely that's what you need to do. You sort of you 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 ease, you ease. into some yeah. of what was going on here before you before you got your feet off the uh, floor of the ocean and you're just out yeah. there at sea. Exactly. This was the the chuck you in the water. <laughs> <laughs> go in the deep end. Here you go. Mm-hmm. If you swim, you swim. If you don't, you die. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, okay, yeah there's thanks. no lifeguard on this show. No. 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 no, no. Um, let us switch over to um, a you. show that. Uh, yeah. Um, a show that <laughs> again. Uh, I think some of us didn't watch, but John did. Tomochan is a girl. Yes. Tell us more. Which Next. is. <laughs> You can kind of get the sense from the the image of it that Tomo Chan mm-hmm. is a bit of a tomboy, ah. and um, since childhood, you know, protagonist Kun there and protagonist mm-hmm. Chan, mm-hmm. that they are childhood besties. They okay. have been through thick or thin, and now they're in high school. And Tomo Chan is kind of realizing that her bestie is just not treating her like she's a girl. Mm-hmm. Like he just, you know, fist bumping. Hey, man, what's up? Mm-hmm. Like it's just totally nothing to do with her being a girl, and she's kind of starting to get to the age where she's sort of liking him, but she doesn't mm-hmm. know how to like sort of bridge that gap to be like, can you pay attention to me as a girl and stop treating mm-hmm. me like another dude? Um, there are. She gets angry enough 
and okay. her classmates see her get angry enough at the way that he doesn't treat her like a girl that she just socks the living crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody sees her as like this sort of demon chick, and they're not mm -hmm. they're like they, they want to stay away from her. Mm -hmm. um, they go to the same kendo dojo. Okay. So nobody, none of the girls at the dojo will practice with her because she's so like obscenely powerful that mm -hmm. she's over in the guys' dojo. So ah, her best mm -hmm. best friend is like, you know, that's more fuel for treating her like a dude mm -hmm. because she's not over on the girl side. You know, she's with the other guys. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's going to be that long, slow fight of like, oh, stop, you know, looking at me like I'm a guy. Bam yeah. in the jaw. And then like, <laughs> oh, tee -hee, I need to dress mm -hmm. more like a girl. And that's mm -hmm. it's cute. It's it's fun. It's not trying to be anything more than that. Mm -hmm. But it is also not anything more than that. Yeah, sure. You know what I mean? It's just going to be, you should see me like a woman. And mm -hmm. hilarity will ensue as various efforts on her part fail. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's not going to be anything super crazy. Her sure. best friend is this sort of like, she is at odds with protagonist Kun. They okay. hate each other. Mm -hmm. um, but the the gloomy uh friend of tomochan is mm. genuinely trying to help tomochan be sort of recognized as mm. feminine mm -hmm. and it's a matter of like she's scheming different things to try and get people to like see the more feminine wiles of tomochan mm -hmm. and it's like okay i've seen two episodes into it and it's like yep that's the entirety of the whole show okay. yeah. <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. how can tomochan be more girly gotcha. okay okay yep Fair Sounds enough. Cute. As long as you, exactly. you've already broadcast to me what it's going to be about, I mm -hmm. that's fine. I'm not going to look for any depth, any great exactly. meaning, any life exactly. lessons to be learned. Yep. And thankfully, we get to end tonight on Trigun Stampede. Oh. Oh. Very happy about this. Very happy about this. I don't know how much I want to talk about this episode in the sense that, oh... <clears throat> Man, um, and it's actually hard for me to talk about this episode because I watched the original series back in the day, adored it, watched it multiple times. Yep, um, absolute, you know, top tier anime. Um, and we got this new adaptation by Studio Orange, and I don't know how, but they, to me, managed to rethink this series for a modern audience come up with adjustments to kind of character designs that make them look mm -hmm. distinctive and work well um and have restructured the story in a way that is still engaging and appealing and that refers back to the old way of doing things but here's the thing the old trigun was in a very over-the-top style Right, Vash was doing the crazy you know, facial expressions and things like yeah. that, and you're know, crazy running back and forth from the screen kind of stuff, which you can't do as well in CGI. It just doesn't work as well. Um, and so, like, they pulled back a little bit on the wackiness of Vash, and but everything still feels like Trigun. Like somehow yeah. they did it. It's yeah. It so, wish I'd seen the original Trigun versus well, like yeah. bits and pieces from Adult mm -hmm. Swim. Because yeah. I just I like the way this is going. I like the mm -hmm. intro yes. parts, which I was mm -hmm. I was like, holy yeah. crap. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I I like the the thrust of where it sounds like the story is going from what mm -hmm. you guys have told me. Yeah. But mm -hmm. like I don't have the means to be able to compare. Like yeah. you see five or six episodes of a whole mm -hmm. series disjointed. I have no idea where in space and time this is. So, and that's what I hope you're able to do is you're able to watch Trigun Stampede and have that experience, and go back and watch the original Trigun, right? And then yeah. see how they, yeah, how, how it's different. Mm -hmm. And and that's the thing is that this is different. It's a retelling, and but there's so much of what made Trigun, Trigun, yeah, in this in this that it's just so nice to see they've altered some things you, you see some of the well you see the character designs here mm -hmm. um you you also um there there's changes and there are certain characters again like you i, I just don't want to yeah you know say it out there 
Um, but the guy with the beard and the, and, and the mm-hmm. mustache, he is not in the original, mm-hmm. but he is in this one, and it's and it works perfectly well. Yeah. It does. Um, and you know, you you run into some of the characters, but not all of the characters. Mm-hmm. So when you don't see a particular character, don't yep. be alarmed. Right. Yeah. It, exactly. It's just the first episode. Yeah. But what you should be alarmed by is seeing a certain character in the first episode. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you're just gonna be like, oh, but we did see him until about three quarters <laughs> of the way in the original <laughs> Trigon. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. And well, without revealing too much, since you guys have seen the original Trigon, mm-hmm. yeah. If I I watching this, not having seen, yeah, in order mm-hmm. and in in process, yeah. the original Trigon, right. I can enjoy this. Yeah. If yes. I had seen original Trigon and was a Trigon fan, would you both say absolutely watch this? You will you will enjoy this as much as original Trigon, or at least on par. With the caveat that it is a remake slash slight reimagining, okay, right? Yeah. Just, this is not just Trigon and CGI, right? right. This is right. Yeah. How do we kind of rethink this in a lot of different ways? Um, so, uh, but yes, given that, yes, okay, yes, it's a this strong is, recommend is, for Trigon fans. Is, so yes, because that's why we're saying we're very happy with this because it 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 hit all the notes it's different enough mm-hmm. that we know that it's kind of the same story mm-hmm. but it's definitely being told in a very different way and you know what this is it, what's that this is trigun 1.11 yeah <laughs> yeah in a way it, in yeah. a way yeah and and you are again, not alone no even hold on <laughs> um you are not bad but yeah. <laughs> But again, it, you know the, the 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 animations on on par. The, mm-hmm. the character designs are on par. The story thus far is mm-hmm. is is just really supposed to be what it is. Um, you will be. I think what the reason why we're very happy with it is that we are seeing a modernization of the old Trigon, and it's working. Mm-hmm. And it's and, it, and it's working, and and fans who really love Trigon, like you and I, are just going to sit there, and we're going to go, and they're going to go the same way we did, which goes, oh, okay, I know what this is, I know what that is, <laughs> oh, okay, but they're doing it this way, and that's oh, that's really cool, I like how they did that, you yep. know, and that that kind of a thing. So yeah. for once, we're getting in a a reboot, retelling, whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it, that's actually working well, yeah, working um, very well, actually. Yeah. I am just going to say, um. Was it? There was it. Um, there. Yeah. Like, just shots like this. Um, yeah. There's yeah. just so much attention to detail, so much going on here. Um, quality all the way through. Yeah. We're very, very happy. Very happy. Very happy. Yeah, it was it was for an episode one. It was an, enough of a ride to be like, hell yeah, yep, exactly. Um, I was and, and, and 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 I'm sorry, just going to add one more thing, and just seeing this part or when he was aiming the the his pistol, mm. I was like, and it's also good for what it doesn't show you just yet. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Sure. I didn't get time on a few things. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep. All right, that's 25 new anime uh, for this season. Hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you found this useful. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one, everyone. Watch more anime. Johnny.